Champions are forged. Destinies are fulfilled. Oh my god, bro. No. <laughs> Comeback stories never felt so good. Josh Ed. Yes! Oh, yes! Oh. yes! The stage is set with surprises at every turn. Oh! oh my god! <laughs> He's back! The best competitor. Absorber into your bosoms. But remember, oh, we come back. If you like music, film, and TV, then I know exactly what you need. Welcome. 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 Welcome to Quiz Club. Quiz Club. Quiz Club. Quiz Club. To Quiz Club. Dante wanted me to send a quick video to y'all. Welcome you to the show. I really don't give a shit personally. Watch it, don't watch it, do what you want. Psych, welcome to Quiz Club! Welcome everyone to Quiz Club 51. Folks, 51 episodes, we are still chugging along. Welcome to Quiz Club 51. We got a stack lineup today and I'm gonna go ahead and introduce those stacked competitors right now. Now, folks, I'm going to go ahead and start. I'm going to throw him in the deep end because I'm very excited to have him here. Been talking about it for about two months now, maybe even three, uh, but I'm excited to finally bring him on. Folks, today, uh, I will say this gentleman is very proud to move uh, to Los Angeles on his own, something he's proud of. He has a fandom of A24 films or horror films, he had mentioned as well. And today he is making his Quiz Club debut this gentleman has uh, defeated me two years in a row at my work's Oscar predictions, and I'm like, I, ugh, I've i always placed second to this man, and I'm excited to play with him today. Folks, it is Joao Garcia. Welcome on in, Joao. How's it going, sir? Dante. Hey, man. Happy to be here, man. <laughs> Happy yeah. to have you here, man. I've been, I've you. been hearing a lot about Quiz Club, and to finally be here is just really exciting. Like, yeah. I'm excited for you, dude. I'm, I'm hype. I know that we've been talking about it at work all the time. Michaela has been mentioning it. Really? Um, you know, Michael has been wanting to jump on. Emma's jumped on. Josh, Calvin, we're, we're getting the whole fam. Uh, we're talking here, apparently so. is like killing everybody. Like, you know, she is. Like, She's the champ. She got a title holder up there. So I'm excited to see her uh, reveal her little championship. So I'm, I'm very excited to have you here today, Joao. Uh, Joao, have you just. This is not a part of the trivia, but have you seen any episodes of Quiz Club, even in a little bit? I I have. I've seen one with uh, Josh. I think uh, nice. Wasaki was in it, too. So I've seen probably a, the I've AMC seen, episode, yeah. Yeah, I've seen a couple <laughs> of them. Yeah, so I just to kind of get a feel of the show. Like, yeah. yeah. I like it. I like it. Cool. Well, I'm excited to have you here, good sir. Uh, cool. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts going in? Are you good at trivia? What's your movie knowledge? What What do you give? Give the other competitors a taste of of your knowledge a little bit. I feel like you're, I feel like you're going to put it to the test. Like, I feel like I know a, a handful of things. I feel like I'm more, more into music than film. Film's like a, like a more of a recent thing for me that I've gone into. So, uh, I know a lot of people have grown up with like Star Wars, like Marvel now is like a big thing that everyone's kind of yeah. coming up with. So like, I'm coming in like a little late, but I, I've been trying to soak up a lot of stuff. So I like it. Yeah, oh so I'm 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 mo I mostly like know like horror films. I feel like that's like my sh stronghold, I guess. But yeah. uh, but I I know a little bit about you know here and there a couple things. Some other stuff. Yeah, 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 I got you. Okay, cool. I'm excited to have you here, Joao. I'm gonna wish you the best of luck, good sir. Yeah, man. I'm gonna send you backstage. So good luck to you today, good sir. All right, I'm excited to have him here today. But next, we finally got the technical difficulties out of the way. Only us are gonna know what that meant. Uh, but I am very excited to have her make her second Quiz Club appearance today. Her best round is Two Stars Are Born. And she has the fourth highest score in the lowest scoring games bracket by every competitor, which it sounds confusing, but basically to show you Emma's worst game. No, sorry. Yes. Emma's worst game is the fourth best game out of those worst games. She's killed it. Folks, it is not Jack Harlow's sister herself. It is Emma Harlow. Welcome on in, Emma. Welcome Hello. In. Oh my gosh, the introduction. Making me sound so cool. I'm really not. Emma, you are. Emma, you are. You are dope. You are dope. Appreciate, appreciate it. How's it going, Emma? How's, how's it going today? Going well. I'm so excited to be back. Finally get the technical difficulties. That was so much. So much. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Very excited. It happens. 
Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm very excited to have you back. How are you feeling? I gotta, I gotta scratch your brain a little bit and see how you're feeling about uh, Wasaki being our new champ. How's I'm excited. To, I'm excited to play with her because I love her, but also I, I really, I'm kind of excited for her to hold on to that title. Title, not gonna lie. <laughs> um, I feel like she's deserved it. She's earned it. Uh, she'll make her way in like top champion. She is a she is acclaimed. I will say. Uh, I also think, besides Michaela, the only woman to hold the title more than once. So, props to props to Wasaki. She's she's really pushing the roll, the boulder over. So, I'm excited. Well, Emma, you know, good. you've uh, I don't know if you've played with Jake before. Have you played with Jake before? No, I don't think so. Okay, we're going into uncharted territory. You know, you've never played with Joao. You never played with Jake. Wasaki is one of your close close friends, but. At the end of the day, you got to walk out with a title. Do you have any fighting words today for uh, for any of the other competitors? Watch out. <laughs> oh! I love, love, to, love to hear I'll it. I'll try my best. <laughs> I like it. I love to hear it. Well, Emma, I'm going to wish you the best of luck. Send you backstage. Very good luck to you, Miss Harlan. Next. Folks, i got to big him up a little bit. He holds the most points scored in Breaking Bank, Tag Team Story, Pursuit of points and wolf pack mentality. Jake is one of only two people to be a quiz club Grand Slam champion, which means they've held the Soto title, they've held the tag team titles, and they've been a cash in winner and technically a trio winner as well. And this man is a former three time quiz club champion and two time tag team champion, the notorious mass murderer, Sirius Black himself. How's it going, Jake? Oh, I'm, I'm feeling pretty stoked, to be honest. Feeling pretty stoked. It's a bit hot over here. I might be a little sweaty, you know, but uh, it's not what Saki getting for me. You know, it's not Joe Hour. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> nice. I'm excited. Well, hey, uh, if you haven't tuned into the last episode, if you want some context, we have a brewing rivalry going on a little bit. Jake, he cashed in. Good sir. The very first ever to cash in in the middle of an episode. He became the champion right then and there. Wasaki took you down. Jake, is that a. How does that make you feel going into today? Are you, are you looking to take that title back? Uh, you know, I really want it. I really want it back, you know. It would be fun. I'm not too I'm not too butthurt about it, but, uh, you know, excited to be here. And uh, I think I'm going to come in strong. And Harry Potter is a strong suit for me. I may not know. Oh! Think about the <laughs> there we go. Okay, okay. Okay, nice. Okay. You cut out a little bit, but we kind of got the gist. So I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm glad you did your homework. I'm assuming you did your homework. Um Jake is one of the good students here at Quiz Club. He usually does his homework. And uh, yeah, so I, I'm very excited. Uh, before I let you go backstage, Jake, does it surprise you that you've basically won everything Quiz Club has to offer? <laughs> does that like... <laughs> I think that it's just like a matter of time, you know? I've been here enough that we're, eventually I get lucky. Yeah, that is true. I'm excited. I'm always happy to have you here, Jake. So I'm uh, very excited to see what you bring to the table today. Good, sir. All right, I'm going to go ahead and wish you the best of luck. Send you backstage. Because next, her best round is Don't Kill My Box Office Mojo, baby. She's tied for the most points scored in clock blockers. And she is your current and two-time quiz club champion. Wissock, welcome on in the champ. Oh. Yeah, baby. I'm wearing these because it's a party. <laughs> Let's I keep love the that. ball rolling. I love to see it. I love to hear it. Wasaki, yeah. thank you so much for joining on today. I'm very excited uh, for you to defend the title. How does it feel? Two-time champ. Both are successful cash-ins, which is funny because you're still in titles for people. How do you feel? How do you feel about that? Well, I guess well, the second one wasn't really a cash-in, but you know. It feels really good. Not going to lie. And it just goes to show, underdogs win. Underdogs, underdogs win, win all the time. Because last round, last time, I had zero. I had zero <laughs> points and I came on. I came back! <laughs> um, so, that's what I have to say to everyone playing. Anyone truly can win. That is so a true. Lot of things, but sometimes, oh, no enough. That is that is true. We've had many comebacks. We've had many underdog stories, and uh, I, I love I love that uh, I love that you see that for yourself. I know Caden and I were talking about how last yes last episode story has just been fantastic to watch, kind of unfold. So I, I'm excited. Well, Wasaki, 
Again, you've played with Emma before. You've played trivia with her. Oh, she disappeared. Oh, there you are. Sorry. Uh, you've played with Jake before, so you are very experienced with Jake. You guys both made your debut on the same episode, if you remember. Um, but this is the first time you're playing against Joao. Do you have any fighting words for your fellow competitors today? Um, I have a feeling someone's lurking in the shadows and it's going to come at the end. So if, mm. so for that person in the shadows, stay in the fucking shadows. <laughs> Don't come out. Stay <laughs> there till next round. I love it. <laughs> I love to hear it. I love to see it. I also think it's kind of funny how everyone with the title is just like always anxious. <laughs> Every time Ryan has the title, he's like, I know someone's coming. I know it. He's like, he's, he's on. I, I have he's a the... feeling in my, in my stomach, in my gut, yeah. someone's coming. Someone is coming. We'll see if they end up coming. But today we're going to go ahead and introduce everyone back on into the quiz for Quiz Club 51. Welcome back. Um, that was perfect timing, by the way, Jake. Your uh, Jake's Wi-Fi cut out and uh, we, we killed time. So it worked. It was perfectly fun. Uh, very excited to uh, jump into today. Uh, I'm going to go over the rules because every quiz has rules. Uh, they're not too many, just uh, pretty, pretty simple. Uh, quiz club rules. You want to show that competitiveness and have some fun. As always, want to make sure you guys are having fun today on Quiz Club. Uh, no cheating, uh, no looking up answers, no asking people for answers, none of that good jazz. Um, uh, none of that good stuff. Uh, just you keep it raw, keep it keep it real today. So I'm excited. And you want to outwin your opponents and win. Wasaki, if you can hold it up, well, that's your cue. Uh, the Quiz Club Championship. <laughs> good old title. <laughs> she put it away. It's all good. Um, the Quiz Club title uh, is up for grabs. It is a facade of the, the, I guess, the trophy that we hold around. And also gift cards. Every time you win, I load money onto that gift card. Whenever you're ready to cash it out, I cash it out and give it. So Wasaki's got money on there. I believe Jake also has money on there too. Um, so you guys, you know, if you, if you play, you, you know, you got you got some of the money on there. Look at that. So uh, yeah. And then as always, we have our fame and renowned Joker points. <laughs> as the Joker points go, each competitor has a section of the quiz where they are designated to earn up to double points. Fate is decided by one of two ways. It's a little different from this rule, but as our quiz club champion, Wasaki, she gets to hold the keys and holds the balance in her hand. So how it now works, Wasaki gets to either choose her round for herself. Uh, or no, sorry. If she gets to the fate decided by roll of die and she gets to choose everyone else's round for double points or the opposite. She gets to have fate decide everyone else's while she chooses the round she wants for double points. So, Quiz Club Champ Wasaki, what are your what are you feeling for today for some Joker points? Oh, I didn't think about this. Um 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 oh fuck, I don't know. Oh, I should have thought about this. I've only been champion once. You <sighs> think I learn? Um geez, I don't know. What do you think I should do? No, don't say anything. I okay. So we're <laughs> there. Also, so I will say I'm just, gonna just choose no, hopefully second oh. round. Round two. Okay. Round two for me. Round two for Wasaki. She has opted to have fate decide for everyone else. So I'm gonna go ahead and go Emma first. Ladies first. Emma, the fate, the roll, the the fate that the die gives you is a five. That is round three for Emma. Okay. I'm going to go to Joao next. First time Quiz Club debut, Joao. Rolling the die. That is a four. You will be sharing round two with Wasaki. Woo! That should be fun. I had to look at, look, look at his color name, Joao. Joao, I love the name. I love your name. I just, my brain is just all, never working it all the time and it needs to be. Uh, Jake, you have a chance to, to do double points for round one by yourself or share it with Wasaki and Joao. And two or three, what, uh, what are you, what's your gut telling you, Jake? You think it's one? The die has rolled a three. You will be sharing round two with Wasaki, Joao, uh, and yourself. Emma's got round three to herself. I really We're got a pull. I got pull round three. Oh my goodness. I'm excited to see it. I'm excited to see it. All right. Uh, well, we're going to go ahead and jump right into the quiz. Uh, we're going to start with the first round of Quiz Club. Very excited to play this round. Uh, it's a round that I like. A lot of people have vocalized they like it. Um, because we love, we love our crazy people. We love our rich people. 
We love our resume, people, folks. It is crazy rich resume. Now, how this one is played, uh, this round is pretty fun. Uh, I give a movie, TV show, actor, just an actor in general. Um, that is what you guys are going to be guessing. I give you guys movies or TV shows that they've been in, in ranked from impossible to guess off of, pretty hard, hard, medium, and then easy. Uh, they're all worth different points. So if I throw out a movie on the board, for example, let's say I do, let's say I say The Impossible Project is uh, Escape Plan, 2013. Let's say Hard, I say The Expendables, 2010. Medium is Batman and Robin, 1997. Easy is The Terminator. The answer would be Arnold Schwarzenegger. Now, depending on where you guess it correctly is how many points you get. If you guess it on Impossible, it's 10 points. Uh, if you guess it on Pretty Hard, it's 8 Hard, it's six. Medium, it's four. Easy, you get two points. So the little bit easier we get, the less points you get um, on that. Does that make sense for everyone replaying it, playing it for the first time? Cool. I like it. Uh, everyone is going to buzz in, so nobody's going to write down answers. It's going to be a buzz-in system. Um, so how you buzz in is you should just say your name. So everyone test your buzzers. One, two, three. Talky. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> got there you go. Um, that's how you buzz in. So once you buzz in, I will call on you. Uh, you have five seconds at least to give me uh, your correct guess. Um, I do need names of the actors. If you give me a first name or you give me just a last name, depends, I'll give it to you. Uh, if you say something like John and it's not, it's like it's like Dwayne The Rock Johnson, I won't give it to you. <laughs> yeah, be a little specific. Um, so try to, try to give me the actor's, actress's name. Uh, I have four people lined up, so we'll go four times. Two actors, two actresses. I'll I'll let you guys know um, what gender they identify with before we get into it. Um, cool. Any questions? Nope. The first person. This is an actress. This is an actress. All right. For impossible. For ten points. X Men First Class, twenty eleven. So many actors in there. Yeah. Oh. Jake? That is correct. Yeah. 10 points uh, to 10 gosh. points to Jake Jeffers. Let me go ahead and pull her up here. Where is she at? Too. There she is. Jennifer. Jennifer. Oh. Right. Very good. Stuff. Wow. That was a good Hail Mary. That's there you go, Jake. Dang. Okay. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> uh, Jake, since your Wi-Fi cut out. Impossible. Yeah, I tried. It was hard. I, I was trying I to find like something. I feel like that's the only person I knew in that movie. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying like to find somebody back there to say Patrick Stewart. Like, I know that's not who it's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jake, in the meantime, if you could just turn up your mic volume just a little bit. Um, sure I think thing. the Wi Fi reset it. Uh, but for Jennifer Lawrence, the other ones were pretty hard. Don't look up. Um, hard was Days of Future Past. Medium, I said Silver Lightning's Playbook. Oh. Easy, obviously, Hunger Games. Oh, yeah. So yeah. that was pretty good. Very good stuff. 10 points to Jake. Next person, this is an actor, male actor. Impossible. For 10 points, The Secret Life of Pets 2, 2019. Oh, oh wait, I don't think he's in that. Wait, Emma? Oh. Is Kevin Hart in that? Is that who you're you said? You said Kevin Hart? Yeah. Oh, huh? dang. It is not Kevin Hart. Also, you do get eliminated with an incorrect guess, but I'll bring oh. her back in for okay. the next person. Sorry, Emma. <laughs> bring on the next thing. Do you guys want me to move on to Pretty Hard for eight points? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right, we'll move on to the next one. Pretty Hard for eight points. 42 from 2013. <laughs> What is that? I don't know that one. I don't know that one either. I go and move into hard if you guys want me to. Yeah. All right. Move on to hard for six points. Blade Runner 2049. Joel. Joel? Harrison Ford. That is six points to the man wow. making his debut. It is Harrison Ford. Very good stuff. Very good stuff there, Joel. That was good. All right. Cool. Yeah. Very good stuff. Also, the other ones for uh, Mr. Harrison Ford, obviously, episode nine, Rise of Skywalker 2019, mm -hmm. and Indiana Jones. Oh, yeah, Destiny, like just came out. Super easy. So, yeah, there you go. 
Next person. This is an actress. Actress. All right. For impossible. For 10 points. Knives Out 2019. Joao. Joao? Uh, Ana de Armas. It's not Ana de Armas. Very good guess, though. Very good guess. It's not Ana de Armas. Any takers? Do you guys want me to move on to Pretty Hard? Pretty Hard. <laughs> I'm not going to make that mistake again. <laughs> 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 pretty hard. Here we go. This is pretty hard. Eight points. Krampus, 2015. Who actually watched that movie? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't great. <laughs> I, think I don't remember any of the actors in it. I'm not going to lie. Any takers? Do you guys want me to move on to hard? Move on. All right, moving on to hard. For six points, Ruby Gilman, Teenage Kraken, 2023. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen it. <laughs> I don't know who's in this. This was, this was a homework trivia question right here. <laughs> I don't know this woman. Do you guys want me to move on to medium for four points? Yeah. Medium. The Sixth Sense, 1999. It's coming to Wasaki a little bit. No, I can't think of I can't think of a name. <sighs> Head empty. Um I'm gonna let Wasaki brew her thoughts for a quick second. You guys let me know if you want me to move these. Move move on to the next one. Okay. I can't think of it's gonna take me a while. For two points. This one was pretty recent. Nightmare Alley 2021. Oh, Danny, stop growling at me. Any guesses from the three of you guys? You guys want to throw out a Hail Mary for two points? Jake. Jake? The actress who played Phoebe in Friends. <laughs> nah. Uh, any, other, any other Hail Marys from you ladies? Um, I probably don't know this person, not going to lie, because I don't know. Anything. You want to throw out a guess? Maybe you might get her. it. I can't think of her name. What does she look like? <laughs> I don't know who this person is. I'm all good. I don't think I can you down and throw a Hail Mary. You guys are waving the flag. I think I'm going to wave the flag. Waving the flag. All right. Wow, just really quick. I know you buzzed out. Do you know? Do you think you know who it is? Uh, is it Tony Collette? It is Tony Collette. That would have been correct. That would have been correct. Very good. Very good late guess. Yeah. Uh, that was definitely a deep cut. I tried to find something, uh, try to find someone who is a uh, recent, but uh, you know, a little under the radar. Tony Collette there. All right. Last one for this round, and then that'll be the end of round one. Last one. This is an actor, male actor. Impossible for 10 points. Tropic Thunder, 2008. There are so many people in that. For 10 points on the board. Wasaki. Wasaki? We're going to say Robert Downey Jr. Uh, it is not RDJ himself. That would have been fun. Any takers? Do we want to move on to Pretty Hard? Pretty Hard. Pretty Hard. Yeah. Fun. Pretty hard. All right. Pretty Hard. Austin Powers in Gold Member 2002. Uh, Joao. Joao. Uh, ben Stiller. Uh, is not Ben Stiller. Very good stuff, though. Very good stuff. Okay. Jake Emma. Eight points on the board. You guys want to take the bait, or are we moving on to hard? I'm good. I'm good. All right. This was a deep cut. For six points, The Outsiders, 1983. I haven't seen that. I think, yep, Joao just figured out who this is, too. <laughs> Joao, tell me. <laughs> Please. Is it uh, Jake? Jake? Is it Ralph Macchio? It is not. Emma, do you want to take the bait here? Or do you want to move on? You're the only one, so you Please really can on. get points. Yeah, move on. <laughs> For four points, Emma. Top Gun Maverick, 2022. Tom Cruise. <laughs> I know that four one. Four points to yes. Emma Harlow. Very good stuff. Four <laughs> points to you. 
That's the only actor I know. Nice. When that you said the outsiders, I was like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Yay. Nice. Okay. Cool. Uh, almost everyone got points on the board. Uh, Wasaki, we'll get there. Don't you worry about it. We're the champ, right? We're the champ for a reason, so I like to see it. The champ. This is what uh, happens very good always. Stuff. This is my game plan. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, what's going on? Come from behind. Gonna, like, this is yeah. strategic. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get any points. I like it. All right. Very good stuff after that round. Very good stuff. Claps all around for the end of round one. Very good stuff. Uh, as the points... Applies. As the points stand, currently in fourth place is Wasaki with a big fat donut. But no worries, we come on back. We come on back, as one uh, three-time Quiz Club champ, Jake Jeffers, would say. We come on back. Uh, in third place is Emma with four points. Very good stuff, Emma. We come on back. Come on back. In second place, making his debut, six for Joao. Very good stuff, Joao. Very good stuff. Currently in first place, the man to beat, 10 points, Jake Jeffers in the lead. All still to play for because 10 points between first and fourth place. Uh, and we're going to see how it goes. Um, we're going to jump into our second round of Quiz Club. This is a round that we have not seen in a minute. And uh, I did hear about you saying Joy of Drawing, Wasaki, but unfortunately, <laughs> something like that, but it's not, it doesn't do it with anything about drawing. This one is Oscar-winning performance. How this game is played is pretty much just like charades. So um, you'll basically be able to act out these uh, different characters, all these different you know situations and all that good stuff. Um, this round, everyone will be going only once, but how this round's points go is if the person is going, whoever buzzes in correctly, that person who buzzed in correctly and the person who just went both get, let me see if I could find the points, uh, five points. It'll be 10 points to our double points folks. Oh, does, it make, does that make sense? So if Emma goes and Joao guesses correctly, Emma and Joao both get points. Okay. This is Wasaki, Joao, and Jake's double points. So for you yeah. three, you guys can really rack up. So mm -hmm. there's a good chance multiple people can get points on this round. So any questions so far on how this round is played? Perfect. All right. Any volunteers to go first? Wait, I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. So we're acting out. Yeah, someone else go first. And then I'll just <laughs> Woo! Jake, Jake, right, Jake, oh, Jake, okay, Jake's gonna. Jake, okay. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna give Jake. I'm gonna give Jake a character from a movie. He's gonna have to act it out without saying any words. Um, just given by his actions, given by anything that he can give context Ooh, to. Okay, okay. Whoever buzzes in correctly first, and it's correct, that person who buzzed in and Jake get points. If no one buzzes in, Jake doesn't get points. Nobody get points. So. Yeah. All right, Jake. Pick a number one through four. One. One it is. Well, folks, I will tell you guys, this was all Harry Potter themed. This round are Harry Potter characters. Ooh, this is the Harry oh, Potter. Be fun. This is one of the Harry Potter rounds. So, Jake has the number one spot. What I'm going to have everyone do is if your name is not Jake Jeffers, go ahead and turn your heads. Everyone turn your heads so you can't see because I'm going to reveal Jake's who Jake is acting on the screen here in a minute. No one look, no one cheat, no one cheating. Jake, this is who you are going to be acting. Let that sit, let that simmer, let that baste. Everyone can now turn around, Jake, whenever you are ready. First one to buzz in correctly. You only get one buzz in, gets points. Oh, wait, hold on. Remember, no, no words, no words. Okay. You can make sounds, oh, grunts, words. whatever you like to do. <laughs> Noises, Goodness. no words. All ready? Mm -hmm. Get close. Uh, Emma? Emma? It's, it's, is this Voldemort? That is correct! Is there we go! Very good, good. Very good stuff! Very good stuff! The boys <laughs> Five <laughs> points! Really good. Five, nice. okay. five <laughs> points to <laughs> Emma, ten points to Jake. Yeah. Very good stuff. Getting points on the Great board. All right. Ten out of ten. Thank you. Nice. Who would like to go next? Joao, all right. Let's see it, let's see it. All right, Joao, give me a number, uh, one, two, or three. Let's go three. Three it is. All right, everyone turn your heads, everyone turn your heads. Joao, without speaking, without any of that, you could do noises, but you have to do this character. All right, let yourself settle, let yourself give that time. Everyone can now look. Joao, whenever you're ready, I'm going to go ahead and solo you. Oh, 
Jake. Jake. Hermione Granger. That is incorrect. Anyone else? Go ahead and do it again, Joao, if you could. That could be anyone. <laughs> <laughs> that could be anyone. What's on? Um. Mm -hmm. Oh. What's on? Harry Potter. That is correct. Oh, Very good okay. stuff. <laughs> ten points to Wasaki. Ten points to really Joao. Very good stuff. Everyone's on board on the board so far for this round. Very good stuff. Ten points to the both of you guys. Very good stuff. Harry Potter. Yeah, yeah, everybody has a wand in Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah, you said. I was like, okay. You didn't want to go for the scar. You could have been. I was going to say. I, yeah, oh, I should have. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, who would like to go next? I will. Wasaki, all right. Wasaki, uh, one or two. Pick a number, one or two. Two. Two it is. All right, everyone turn your heads, turn your heads, turn your heads. No one look, no one cheat. You will be acting this character, Wasaki. I like the little smile there at the end. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, everyone can now look. Wasaki, give me a thumbs up when you're ready. I'll go ahead and solo you. <laughs> Jake. 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 Snape. Yeah. That is correct. Yeah. Very good My stuff. Really made it. Ten more points to Wasaki. Ten to Jake. That's a sassy Very little stuff. girl. That's so funny. Very good stuff. Yeah, he be sassy. He be sassy. All right. Uh, Emma, we'll have you go next. We'll have you go last. I'm gonna give you the okay. last person on my screen. Everyone, turn your heads. If your name is not Emma Harlow. I don't get a number. Dang. You don't get a number. Unfortunately, <laughs> you don't. You don't. Yeah. All right, Emma. Whenever I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the screen. This is the character you will be acting. Okay. You can also, yeah, just have fun. Have fun. There's one it. specific scene that I want to do, but I don't know if anyone will recognize it. Okay. Try with that. Try it. You never know. All right. Everyone can now look. Emma, give me a thumbs up when you're ready. I'll go ahead and solo you. Okay. You guys ready? Yeah. Ready. Jake. With donkeys? Jake. Dumbledore. That is correct. Oh, Dumbledore. Yeah. I was really Very tempted to do the scene where he just like escapes to be a phoenix where he just like claps and leaves. But yeah. no, don't anyone would get that. I would have got that. Come on. Yeah, I would have got, got that. Very good stuff. Very good stuff. Everyone got points on the board. Claps around to Woo! everyone in the room. Claps around. Claps around. As the points stand in fourth place is Emma with 14. No worries, Emma. We come on back. We come on back, Emma. We come on back. In third place, right in front of her, is Joao with 16. Good stuff, Joao. We come on back. Come on back. Two more rounds of Quiz Club to go, so we still got a lot of quiz to play. In second place is Wasaki with 20. Very good stuff, Wasaki. Getting in the, the getting in the 20s, getting up there. Still the man to be as of right now. It's Jake Jeffers with 40 points. Claps yeah. around for Jake. 40 points. The man to beat right now. Very good stuff. But for now, we're going to go ahead and jump into our tournament. Uh, I hope you guys had some time to uh, take a look at the bracket on your own. If not, it's okay, um, but it's all good. Uh, I will say, Joao, and just a reassurance for everyone else, uh, there's no right way to do this. This isn't for points. This is just to see how everyone feels uh, opinion-wise for the quiz. Um, I, everyone looks at it differently. Um, I look at it for what I think is a better film um, against the other film, just what I think is better execution-wise against the other one. Uh, everyone else thinks about it differently. I know Caden likes to think about um, the cultural relevance, uh, how iconic it is, what the importance of that is. He's talked about Star Wars about that multiple times. Um, I know that, uh, for example, Eric has talked about how he likes what's more rewatchable and enjoyable for him. I know Kai has talked about what he likes more as a fun time. There's no right way to do it. Uh, we do. Um, there are times where we will uh, shame some bad opinions. No, I'm kidding. Um, but <laughs> there are a couple opinions where we'll, we'll, we'll butt heads, but that's what makes us human. So uh, I'm excited to jump into it today. Um, today, I want to break this tie really quick before we start. Um, that is the tie between Spider-Man 2 and Star Wars A New Hope. Ooh. Currently, we are sitting at two and two, so we are tied. This one has been tied for a minute, uh, and we want to break that today. Wasaki, you were here last episode. Remind me who you voted for. Or did you vote I at did all? not see Star Wars. Okay. So. And you still have it? 
No. Okay. So I can't vote. Just we gotta make no, that happen. No, it's all good. <laughs> we do got to make that happen. We gotta make that happen. One okay. So Wasaki, uh, also um, Joao, just for you, just for you, just so you know, uh, and a reminder to Emma, um, if you haven't seen one of the movies in the bracket, we'll take as much as you want to talk to us about it. We'll accept all of the opinions and all the thoughts. Um, but when it comes to voting, I won't take a vote. Just it's not fair to the other movie that it's up against. So um, in that case, but Jake, remind me, last episode, do you know who you voted for? Yeah, uh, Star Wars Four. Okay. Are you changing at all, or any change of heart? Or are you still there? Star Wars Four, yeah, yeah. I like it. Okay, um, cool. I'll add a little bit to that. Um, I picked Spider Man Two. I just think it's a better made film than A New Hope. Um, I I think Caden. I know Emma. I know. I don't. I really don't want to slander on Star Wars today, but um, uh, A New Hope is very important. It's very culturally relevant. It is, for the time, it's very impressive. Um, I just think the story itself, it, I think the idea of what Star Wars became is a lot bigger than what the movie itself is by itself, if that makes sense. Um, I just think as a film, again, this is just the way I look at it. I think Star Spider-Man 2 is just a lot, it's just a better film in my opinion. Um, I think the antagonist is just fantastic in how he's battling his own demons and that is what makes Doc Ock human. I love that aspect to him. Um, I love Toby's whole, like, he's defying the fact that he's like, I don't feel like I am Spider-Man. And it's that internal struggle that every Spider-Man we've seen has. Every single Spider-Man we've seen. And I, I love that that was the first one we got to see. Um, and, uh, yeah, there's just too many memes. Spider-Man 2 is just one of the great uh, Toby Maguire ones. So um, that's why I voted for that. Um, cool. Emma, I know you're, you're a Star Wars fan. I want to hear what you have to say. What are your thoughts on, on the two? Have you seen both of them, I'm assuming? I have seen both of them. Um, I will say this decision was a little difficult for me because I am a huge Star Wars fan, but I also grew up with Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man, and it's one of mm-hmm. like one of my favorite movies as well, especially as a kid. Um, mm-hmm. So I like, absolutely loved it. Like, Doc Ock was one of my favorite villains. But... Um, like, I still love Star Wars, and that is always going to be my favorite. It's always going to be my number one. And I also like to, when doing these movies, I also like to think about what's more, like, culturally significant. Um, and Star like, that's the one that started it all. That movie's, like, changed the way um, a lot of people, like, I, it, it was really, really great movie. Um, I can't quite find the word. But I'm I'm gonna vote for a new hope personally. I'm still gonna okay. still gonna stick to it. Vader okay. was such an iconic villain, and I absolutely love that movie. So I'm voting for that one. Nice. Okay. Joao, what are your thoughts? I'm assuming you've seen both. I have seen both. Yeah. Um, you know what? what? I, I think I'm probably gonna lean towards Spider-Man Two as well. Okay. I think and the tie uh, lives on. Sorry. Go ahead. Continue. No. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I know like a lot of people have grown up with Star Wars and for all the right reasons, like it's an incredible franchise, but I feel like Spider-Man 2 has legs. I feel like in another 10 years, it's going to like get even bigger. You know what I mean? So I'm going to, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, I like it. My heart goes to Spider-Man, I think, for sure. Okay. I like it. We This one is going to be tied for yet another episode. I'm excited. Uh, three and three so far for that one. So we're going to go ahead and skip that one. Um, we, we're we going to leave Dark Knight um, alone for a second because obviously the winner of that takes on Dark Knight. So uh, next bracket down, we are going to go to Jaws, the original Jaws versus Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest. I do want to just highlight a little bit uh, the, the road map for both of these movies. Uh, Jaws defeated Top Gun and Jurassic World to make its way here. Dead Man's Chest defeated, um, I think that's Temple of Doom. Indiana Jones, Temple of Doom, and defeated the Avengers to get here. So we, you know, there's Pirates. The Pirates franchise um, made its way. We look at the other end of the bracket, too. At World's End made it so far, too. So um, I'm excited to see, hear this one. I'm going to let you guys go first, and then I'm going to piggyback. So we're going to start with Jake. Jake, what are your thoughts? So today, for my choices, I'm going off of, like, kind of what I want to watch right now. You know, what I'm feeling right now. Right now, I'm feeling Jaws. 
Okay. I like it. I like it. Uh, Emma, have you seen both Jaws and Dead Man's Chest? I have seen both. Um, I I think I'm going to go with Pirates of the Caribbean. That was uh, definitely like, wow. really big for me was a uh, pirates i absolutely like that's one of the movies that i actually really like because i was as they mm. get later the later movies aren't as great yeah as some of the earlier ones um but this one i really enjoy and jaws while it is like a classic it's great it's just not a movie that i want to watch very often <laughs> um mm. so pirates of the caribbean nice okay one and one joao what are your thoughts I'm gonna go with Jaws, 100% Jaws. <laughs> Sorry, I was yeah, I, I, I don't even remember seeing. I don't even know what happens in Pirates of the Caribbean. That one, day. they're all kind of wow. like the same. I don't know. Okay. Dead Man's Chest. Yeah. Okay. All right. Sorry, Wasaki. The uh, the order on my like screen is it goes Jake, Emma, Joao, Wasaki, <laughs> so, and then I realized yeah. on the stream, on the stream, no, you you're like in the middle. What I have to say. <laughs> I, I know what you're going to vote for, and I'm excited because I'm going to piggyback. I'm going to agree with you. So that's why I like that we're going last. Um, what are your thoughts, Basaki? What do you think? So how I vote for this is what is a summer movie? Jaws is a summer movie. Pirates of the Caribbean, that is end of summer, early fall movie. Oh, Jaws okay. wins. <laughs> yeah. Wow, okay. Oh, I, did not, I did not think. Well, I will, I will die with the ship, Emma. Ah, this one, this one, this one, uh, this bracket really, I, I, I completely see. Yeah, it, it's Shark Week, so it's like I get it. Um, yeah. uh, I just, I really think you guys should rewatch Dead Man's Chest. I think it's okay. one of the Maybe better. I, I think yeah. it's honestly. You know what? I think it's the later movie. movies just kind of make the, you know what I mean, the good yeah, ones. Yeah, it's yeah. this one is fan. Fantastic. I, I just want to defend Dead Man's Chest for a second, hopefully to push someone over to the other ship, pun intended. Um, <laughs> Please. I think Dead Man's Chest is one of Disney's cinematic masterpieces outside really? of the Disney uh -huh. lore. Um, the Davy Jones character himself, it's really, ve it's very difficult to write a fantastic villain. And I think Davy Jones, his whole motivation that he is this cursed, sad man who's just cursed to the seas because he wants his love Calypso. And he's his whole curse is that he'll like he'll be aboard the ship 365 days a year, 24/7, in the middle of the ocean, just so that he can have that one more time with his wife Calypso. I think it's fantastic. I think uh, Jack Sparrow's character is just great as well. Um, um, I just I I really think this is I think out of all the pirates movies to move on and beat Jaws, I think this is the one. Um, all right, I think. I, I really think Dead Man's Chest is the better film, but obviously there's no right away to look at it. So. All right. All right, Dante, you, 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 you convinced me. Whoa. You convinced me? All right. Okay. okay. Like Wait, it. let me talk to you about how Jaws is doing. It's really, really great. Jaws, you just want to bite. You just want to bite. He's just shark. His job is just shark. His job is to just shark. And he does that very well. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I so here's the here's the thing. I love Jaws. I think Jaws is great. I think it's one of the better horror films still to this day. Like it really holds up. I just think as a storytelling perspective, it doesn't really get anything better. Like Dead Man's Chest really mm -hmm. saved Disney. I don't know if you guys know the ins you and outs. I feel like it's like more layered, huh? Like hundred yeah. percent. There's yeah, yeah. and I, I really love the uh the mm -hmm. not even just the physical battles, but the battles within the characters and what they're dealing with. You have the whole patriarchy of what England is looking like in that time. It's just the storytelling is a lot better. Um, and I, although I think Jaws is a good horror flick, I think Dead Man's Chest is a lot better script personally. But that's just me. So if we do have someone jump and ship, that means uh, Dead Man's Chest takes the dub. Takes the dub there. Moving yeah. on. I'm excited to, to see that move on. Uh, we haven't had someone jump ship on a movie opinion in the bracket for a long time. It used to happen a lot, but it doesn't happen recently. Thank you, Jake. I appreciate that. I like that. All right. <laughs> uh, next one down is going to be the original Jurassic Park versus Iron Man. Um, mm. To highlight what these two movies have fought against, Jurassic Park has gone against Smokey and Bandit, defeated Return of the Jedi, Emma, and uh, has made its way here. Iron Man has defeated uh, Attack of the Clones, and defeated Age of Ultron to make its way here. So, Wasaki, we're gonna start with you. Oh. Uh, what are your thoughts? Oh. Oh. Uh, 
I don't know. <laughs> They're both summer movies, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, get me. <laughs> Skip and Wasaki. All right. Joao, what are your thoughts? Uh, it's going to have to be Iron Man for me. Yeah. I mean, it just it picked off the whole Marvel Cinematic Universe. I mean, we're still in it. So we're still in it. I don't know. what. How did the last Jurassic Park movie do? I don't even remember it. It's kind of, you know. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm leaning with Iron Man. Yeah, for sure. Okay. All right. Emma, what are your thoughts? Um, these are both, like, great movies. I absolutely love both of them. Uh, Iron Man, of course, kicked off the MCU, which is still going strong, even though some people have not great opinions about it nowadays. Mm-hmm. Um, it's still going strong and doing great. Jurassic Park, their franchise definitely fell off, but judging their franchise and then just taking the movie off of it, mm. not the same thing. I yeah. I think I'm gonna go I think I'm gonna go with Jurassic Park. Whoa. Okay. Uh-huh. Like it split down the middle a little bit. All right. Jake, interesting. what are your thoughts? Make it interesting. Jurassic Park. Okay. Oh. All right. Wasaki, do you want me to go or do you want me to loop back? Yeah, to you go. Okay. <laughs> this is tough. I, 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 I really, I really love Jurassic. I need to rewatch it again because I remember watching it. I've only seen it once and I thought it was fantastic. Um, I just love dinosaurs. So the concept itself is enough to hook me in. But it's going against my love and my love is MCU and Marvel and just Iron Man really did kick it off. Personally, I voted for Age of Ultron over Iron Man. Again, storytelling wise, I loved the beats and I loved the stepping stone that Age of Ultron took. Um, I was a little upset when it lost to Iron Man. I understand why it lost to Iron Man, but um, this is really tough. I'm with Wasaki here where I just don't know what to vote, Um, but I do want to vote for one because I've seen both. Yeah, I want to give I want to give props to one or the other. Um, as a film, again, execution of film, this really hurts my heart because I love Tony Stark. I got to go my vote with Jurassic Park. That's where I got to put my vote. Dang. So Jurassic Park's winning? (laughs) Jurassic Park is winning. So I'll just say Iron Man. Just say that I did. Um, I know I didn't say it. I like it. Thank you. That was really special for me. (laughs) I like it. As I'm wearing my Squirrel Girl shirt. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, I like it. (laughs) <laughs> nice okay um, does this they count i think he was voting for iron man there with Saki's dog i think with Saki's yeah, dog was, was oh yeah she was she was heated she yeah, was heated no. so uh this next part of the bracket's very interesting just because the matchup we're at and also how we got here so we have finding nemo versus the fugitive um the reason why the fugitive is here is because no one watched gremlins no one watched deathly hollows part two and it made its way through um, so it really, it's kind of had like a two week buy, I would say the fugitive. So it's a good movie personally, but, uh, it definitely, it's, it's, it's had an easy route the way here. Um, I still don't understand how Deathly Hallows part two defeated Spider-Man three, but that's a whole different conversation. Um, Finding Nemo did defeat the 1989 Batman and Ghostbusters to make its way here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and vote on these two. Uh, I'll start us off. I have been one to vote for fugitive both the first two times. So I have been the grandfather of pushing this bad boy through. I do think it's Harrison Ford's best acting work. um, And the concept is really interesting as a good um, suspicious crime thriller. Um, But Finding Nemo has a deep emotional connection for me. So I'm giving my vote to Finding Nemo. Uh, Wasaki, what about, what say you? Have I seen The Fugitive? I don't think so. (laughs) Okay, well. Woo! <laughs> for me. Yeah. Uh, Joao, have you seen The Fugitive? Uh, yeah, just to be transparent, I haven't seen The Fugitive, so I don't okay. know. I, I love Finding Nemo, but I don't know if I can vote unless I, yeah. Okay. Definitely check it out. I feel like you're one of the people that would enjoy it a lot. Okay. So. Emma, have you seen Fugitive? It's your, it's your boy, uh, Harrison, so. I have seen it. I did my homework. <laughs> Woo! There you go. I yeah, like to see I it. Look at that. I really enjoyed the movie. I hadn't seen it before. Or, nice. like knowing I was gonna vote on it, and mm-hmm. I really liked it. I re- my favorite yeah. scene is when he's like pointing the gun at the inspector. He's like, "I didn't kill my wife." And he's like, "I don't care." That was yeah. like, <laughs> that made me laugh so hard. That was my favorite that thing is great. that he just said yeah. he didn't yeah. care. Um, nice. it definitely surprised me. I really enjoyed the movie, but I'm I'm still gonna vote for Nemo. 
Yeah. Let's, yeah, it's Nemo. It's fine, Nemo. It's Nemo. Yeah. It's a good number. Yeah. Is is Tommy Lee Jones in the Fugitive? I've heard. I've heard he like. Yes. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's really good in it too. So it's yeah. again, I think it's Harrison Ford's Acting's best great. acting performance. He's very good in the Fugitive. Yeah. He's really good. It is great. You should. Pres- I really think you would like it. It's really good. Yeah. I didn't think I would like it, but I did. <laughs> yeah. All right, Jake. What, what say you? What are your thoughts? Did you call me, Jake Jeffers? <laughs> I did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, I haven't seen the fugitive. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, no worries. It's all good. It's all good. Well, that's pretty easy. Finding Nemo is making its way through. Finding Nemo will be taking on Jurassic Park. Oh, okay. the Battle of the Titans. I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> to see it. Nemo against the whole T Rex. All right, jumping onto the other side. I want to start from the top to bottom because it's going to get really heated towards the bottom. Ooh, this side of the bracket's tough. I'm going to yep. go what I think is easiest to hardest. So I'm going to go Shrek 2 to Apple's <laughs> end. Um, I'm going to start us off. I, I get, I've i said it on the last couple episodes. Uh, really quick, just to see the roadmap. Shrek 2 beat Finding Dory. It also defeated Back to the Future to make its way here. At World's End defeated Toy Story 3 in the first round and defeated Independence Day in round two. Um, I'm going to put my flag again in Shrek 2. I think it's one of the greatest, if not greatest, animated movies of all time. Again, storyline-wise, storytelling, it, you see so many miserable characters that are broken inside and what they do with that. And realizing that characters and people and humans and ogres and cats and donkeys, everyone makes mistakes. Um, I have those yeah, and uh, seeing them battle through that adversity. And it's also got the best soundtrack in the world, world y'all. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's when they're storming the capital. I need a hero. It's it's ridiculously great. It's fantastic. Uh Shrek 2. Easy. Uh yeah. Jake, what say you? Yeah, Shrek 2, man. All the way. What are the two movies? What happened? What are th- what's the two movies? I mean, I already uh, know what I'm gonna say, but <laughs> Oh, Shrek 2 and At World's End? Oh, okay, go, 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 go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Uh Emma, what about what say you? Shrek 2. Yeah, that's not the reference. Always. Idea. Shrek 2 is amazing. Yeah. And that world's end is just yeah. like, it's there. <laughs> this, this might be a landslide. This might be a landslide. Yeah. Do you want? It's a landslide. I know you love the Pirates uh, franchise, but man, it's got to be Shrek 2. Like, yeah. Yeah, Shrek 2 is fantastic. Yeah. Uh, Wasaki, nailed Shrek the coffin. Shrek 2. <laughs> I like it. First clean sweep of the day, Shrek 2 will be moving on. Uh, let, me go, let me go down to what I think would be the next easiest. I'm going to go to the bottom right, and that's going to be Infinity War to Saving Private Ryan. Again, it's the second easiest, but it's also really tough. I really think this one's tough. Um, I want to start. I uh, I said it last week. I love Saving Private Ryan. That first scene is fantastic. That first hour is just ridiculous, man. Steven Spielberg knocks it out the park. Uh, but to me, it is a strong one-act film. Um to keep like it's it's kind of hard to keep my it's 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 hard to like keep my attention in a movie like that when you start so big and then you just kind of fade through um i just i I definitely think the first act is fantastic um and although i don't make the same argument for infinity war that it's a second act film i think the events leading up to it and we'll talk about this when i get to endgame i think the events leading up to it build that final battle that's across Wakanda. That's across Titan. Um, I think that the entirety of what Infinity War is, um, is just fantastic. I know we showed Jake. We had a whole watch party for it. Um, I really think Infinity War is one of those movies that's a 10 out of 10. I think it's it's one of those movies that the first viewing is something that you can never really experience or explain to someone again. You can't really talk about it. It's it's something that just happens. I remember sitting th- through the entirety of the eight minutes of credits just with a shocked face because I was like, holy shit, we just lost. That's ridiculous. Like, that's so cool. Um, and just the humanized aspect of, of Thanos, I think, is fantastic, too. Just he believes what he's doing. And those villains are usually like he believes what he's doing is for the greater good. But it's like, ah, dude, your moral compass is fucked up. But we believe I believe that you believe it. And that's what I think what makes villains very, very intriguing. Um, I got to go Infinity War if it wasn't clear. Um, <laughs> I think it's just fantastic. Uh, and I think it just hits so many emotional elements. Don't get me started on Wanda and Vision. That whole relationship, that love story, 
God, it breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. All right. Uh, Wasaki, start with you. Infinity War. Okay. All right. Uh, Joao? Um, out of these two team ups, I'm going to go with Infinity War for sure. Uh, Emma? Um, I was basically going to make the point that you were making, Dante, about Infinity War as to why I was voting for Infinity War. Because, <laughs> like, <laughs> Thanos was such, like, a terrifying villain to have to face that there was, like, it was so hard to stop and he kept getting ahead of them one step ahead every time. And, like, him being so sure that he was so right was awesome. It Just losing at the end and that was just it that was such a terrifying experience in the theater just like that's it that's, that's yeah. all we get it was yeah, it's a it fantastic was really cliffhanger fantastic yeah. like gave me emotions throughout the entirety of the movie as opposed to just like sitting about ryan like it's a great movie but like i'm i'm losing interest at the end of the movie not gonna lie yeah. But yeah, yeah. infinity war for sure okay jake jeffers thoughts infinity war okay Clean sweep, another clean sweep. I should have started. I, oh, I guess yeah, these are the two easy ones. Clean sweep, yep. Infinity War moves on. I'm gonna move on to the matchup right above it. Now, this one I feel like is gonna be a clash of the fandoms. I'm excited for this. This is Endgame versus Revenge of the Sith. Um, Endgame's uh, Endgame's almost had a, an easy route, I guess you could say, uh, defeating Greece in round one, defeating Forrest Gump in round two. Um, no disrespect to Forrest Gump, by the way. Uh, Revenge of the Sith has a, had a little bit of a tough time in the middle. Uh, easy one, uh, Matrix Reloaded in round one, and then defeating Terminator 2 in round two. This one, this one's tough. Um, again, I'll start just because I love hearing myself speak. Um, I think <laughs> Endgame, I think Endgame gets a bad rap for the fact that it is quote unquote fan service. I disagree with that strongly, and here's the reason why. I think people think that the fan service comes from the end where they've shoehorned everyone to come back. And I don't think that that's fan service. I think that that's more of just, that's the way that the war had to end. You got to bring all your pawns. You got to bring all your like horses. You got to bring everybody, the king and the queen and all. Um, and I think it's a scramble for that gauntlet. And I think that's fantastic. Um, I think the the score, we talk about score. I know you love your composing music, Joao. That f portals is something that like, you can feel it. You can feel the like hope. You can feel the devastation at the beginning of that piece. You can feel the hope in the middle and you can feel that triumph when they're battling. I think that that score itself makes you feel something. Um, and uh, just a shoehorn away from act two, showing Jake Endgame for the first time really opened up how fantastic filmmaking the first act is. Jake mentioned how he loved the beginning hour of that movie. It's so dark. It's so depressing. Um, and that's because the Russo brothers wanted to show how depressed the world got when they realized, holy shit, our line of defense fucking lost. And now we're sitting with this for five years. People are going to AA meetings. People are <laughs> lost families. People like it's, it's, it's like a concept that like, it's it's true, like chaos and there's war and people are fighting and there's things, but like also people lost, people lost friends and family and stuff. And I think that the Russo brothers directing wise, stepping out of the fact that it's a superhero movie really showed that, hey, this is, we're not gonna make this like a, a blockbuster. We're gonna start this movie off very dark and depressing, keep it real. I love that. And I think that the acting performances in this movie really show that MCU movies sometimes can really break through the barrier of being blockbusters. I think of Scarlett Johansson, her performance, especially when she's like stressed out. I don't know if you guys remember this, but when she's stressed out at the Avengers um, like place in upper state Manhattan and she's like breaking down because she's like, I don't know what to do. I have nothing to do. My only purpose was to help people and I can't do that. Um, it's just fantastic. Uh, but on the other side of the flip of the coin, Revenge of the Sith is my favorite Star Wars movie. I think it's absolutely fantastic the way that we see that three movie character development between Anakin and his love and Obi-Wan. I, I really love the dynamic of Revenge of the Sith. Um, it's, in my opinion, the easily, the most easily watchable of the, uh, prequel trilogy. Um, and I love that that last scene where it's like, I have the higher ground, you know, all that stuff. It's just that that's a great scene. That's Sorry, Veronica. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's fantastic. Um, I think it, uh, it definitely, it's a great prequel to, uh, to episodes four and, and beyond. Um, but I got to go with what my heart thinks is a better film. I do got to go end game. Uh, I just think it's, it's, it's the, it's the final chapter in, in a saga against a, I'd say very sh- important pivotal point in a chapter in the star Wars saga. Um, I guess you could say these are both end chapters to to their own respective sagas. It's um, the end game. My, my, it is the end game <laughs> for both films. I got to go end game personally. <laughs> That's just my heart speaking. All right. Wasaki, what do you think? I haven't seen Star Wars. Woo! Wasaki, so, we got to work on that. Really? But uh, I would have <laughs> chose end game, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yes. okay. You don't know. I like Maybe. it. I like it. Uh, Joelle. What are, you, what are your thoughts? So you've uh, seen both, I'm assuming. Yeah, I love both, obviously. But so if I'm looking at the chart correctly, if, if I was to choose Endgame, Endgame would go against Infinity War, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it would. Just just for that alone, I'm going to go for that. For I'm going to go for Endgame. I'd okay. like to see those two square off to see which one's the best out of those two. Okay, 2-0. We're, we're, Emma, I'm going straight to you because you're my, you're my Star Wars stan. I'm, I'm so S. stressed. <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to pass you or what do you, what do you want? <laughs> no, no, don't, don't pass me. Okay. I just, these are two of my favorite movies. Like Star Wars, like Revenge of the Sith is my absolute favorite movie. But mm-hmm. Endgame, I have so much love for it. Like a lot of points you were making it. They did such a good job creating that heavy tone in the beginning of the movie. And it was so mm-hmm. like dark. And then not just with the score, but with the acting and like the way, just everything about the movie, they really pushed through. They're like bit of like reluctant hope towards the beginning and then them like going full force into trying to fix the past. Like it it was just so good. And Revenge of the Sith is my favorite movie. Wow. But that one's my <laughs> favorite. But Endgame. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't wanna vote Endgame, but I think I'm gonna have to because I think that one's wow. technically a better movie. But I yeah. love Revenge of the Sith. <laughs> You make it clear. I am a Star Wars fan. <laughs> That's it. It's my favorite movie. Yeah, yeah. I absolutely yeah. love it. I can quote, like, you can ask uh, anyone that I will watch this movie with. I will quote the entire thing while watching it. <laughs> but I think I'm going to have that. to vote for Endgame. And I hate that. <laughs> I hate it here. <laughs> Don't do this to me ever again. <laughs> like I knew this was going to be a tough one. one. Yeah, that's, yeah, this side of the bracket is just like hard hitting. Yeah, it's, it's hard. Movie. Ah, I guess I'm going to vote Endgame. Whatever. Okay. Mm. Fine. Jake Jeffers, what are your, add any final thoughts? Wow. Um, <laughs> yeah, the, the beginning of Endgame is so good. It's deeper than anything that, wow. I mean, well, it's, just, it's, really, it's really deep. And, you know, yeah, it's that moment. It's the Thor the Thor arc through that. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, the Scarlett Johansson's arc. Those are my favorite parts of that movie. I wasn't a big fan of time traveling, TBH. Um, That's fair. The end, That's a fair assessment. The end was... Uh, it was okay. It was enjoyable. Yeah. But I really, really loved the beginning of that film. It started off strong. Uh, had some good arcs in it. Um, just because I know Endgame is moving on, I am going to vote Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. Because Thank you. that movie... <laughs> Oh wow! I mean, like if you if you watch those films chronologically, uh, and you have absolutely no idea what's going to happen after the betrayal of the clones, like Order sixty six, the guy hits so deep, you know, you see all of these like Jedi that you love, and you know, like if you're like playing the games alongside them, oh man, Plo Koon just died, like oh man, it's like ah oh, ah, oh, you know, and then you know people hate on Anakin's acting, but you know what, we give it to him, and. Uh, <laughs> But the, the, bro, the bromance between him and, and Obi Wan is is so good, and the arc in that movie is great. I love that movie. I would watch it again, any day. Woo. All right. I'm very and happy. And game obviously moves on, moves on to make its make its claim in the next round, which it will take up Infinity War. Oh my God! There was a whole crash that just happened. We all we all just we all experienced that live. <laughs> all right. Uh, last matchup of the day. This one is going to be tough. I really, uh, this one's tough. Um, this one is Empire Strikes Back versus Civil War. 
to see the route that they both went through Empire Strikes Back took down Revenge of the Fallen, took down the original Spider-Man. Civil War defeated Fallen Kingdom and Wonder Woman to make its way here. I'm going to start again, hoping. I feel like I might be the only one to die on this ship, but I'm going to see. We're going to see. Um, I, I really enjoyed Empire Strikes Back. I did. It's not my top three. Um, I do think it gets the acclaim that it's like the greatest one. I don't think so. I love the reveal at the end. Um, I didn't know that, um, that he was his father. That's crazy. Uh, spoilers. Um, no. <laughs> but, uh, what? As, as <laughs> a concept, Jackie. as a concept, as a script, as the directing, as acting performances go, Civil War takes the cake in every single one of those categories for me i think the premise of superheroes being like hey you're being a fucking asshole because you believe this and the other one going hey i think you are too all right and then them disagreeing and them fighting i love that i think it's obviously a lot deeper than that but um i love that when it comes to ideas and political agendas and all that stuff not the idea that people fight but it's the reality and the trueness of like not everyone thinks the same. Not everyone believes the same things. And I think that watching the Avengers really hit that roadblock of like, we definitely are disagreeing. That's that's something that, again, takes it out of the blockbuster mindset and puts it into a, these are real people dealing with real, real world consequences of their actions and how they react to that. Um, I just, I think Civil War is just a fantastic film. It's another 10 out of 10. I think it's really dark too. So I gotta go Civil War personally. Wasaki, I know you I haven't, haven't seen, seen Star Wars. Wars. <laughs> <laughs> she knew. <laughs> <I was. laughs> All right. Do you have any thoughts to add on to Civil War? Or? Good. Woo! There you go. Good movie. I like it. I like Solid it. choice. Okay. Solid good choice. <laughs> uh, Chihuahua, what do, what do you have yeah. to add? This one's really tough for me. So I love both. I think actually Civil War is my favorite Marvel movie. Actually. There you go. Look at that. Um, but the score for Empire Strikes Back, I hear it all the time in my head. It's constantly with me. I got to go Empire. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Empire. Right. Emma? Why do you keep pairing my two favorite <laughs> franchises together? I'm not okay with this. Yeah. Um. Civil War is one that I rewatch really just often, but so is Empire. Empire is, I think, it's definitely like a top three for me. It's not my number one favorite. And it is considered amongst the community the best Star Wars movie, which I don't think is true. I, I, I agree with you. The yeah. Return of the Jedi or Revenge of the Sith, but that's just me. Yeah. Um, I absolutely love both of those movies, but... Like Joao said, like the score for all the Star Wars movies are just so amazing, especially like Empire. And I, especially after hurting myself for voting, not voting for Revenge of the Sith, I'm definitely voting for Empire Strikes Back. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna make myself feel a little bit better about being a Star Wars fan. Okay. All right. Jake, you hold the keys in the balance. You could either cement the win for Empire or you can tie for Civil War. What are your, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? Empire. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. It's going up against Trek to watch it lose. Crushed it's no. probably going to lose. I'm going to be, uh, it's probably going to lose. I, uh, man, Wasaki, uh, actually, I can't really fault you. It'd be 3 2 regardless. I, uh, I just, I, I, yeah, Empire might be one of the bottom five for me. I just, other than the reveal, I, it's not too rememberable for me. I, re I prefer Return of the Jedi over Empire, personally. Um, but all right, I, like the I guess guy that's. In the background running with the ice cream machine painted white <laughs> that everyone's obsessed with. I don't. I, I personally, I just think Empire is one of the most more overrated Star Wars movies. But it makes its way through. It makes its way through. Uh, that one's going to be taking on Shrek Two in the next matchup. And, and it's going to. Break... I'm going to watch it just so I can vote. <laughs> it's probably going to. I. I don't know. I don't, we're going to see. We're going to see. Just so I can vote for Shrek Two. Yeah. I'm excited to see where it goes. But uh, yeah. Uh, just just an idea on what the future looks like. Uh, Empire Strikes Back will be taking on Shrek 2. Endgame will be taking on Infinity War. Oh. Finding Nemo will be taking on, is that Jurassic Park? Yes, Jurassic Park. 
and uh, Dead, uh, sorry, Jaws. Or no, sorry, Dead Man's Chest will be taking on that that tied area up there. So we still got to break the ties. We got to settle whatever wins against Dark Knight, and then move on to there. So have to check it out. Uh, nice. Okay. Well, we are back. Welcome back. We're gonna jump right into our third round of Quiz Club. We're not even gonna take a break. We're gonna jump right in because this next round, you gotta talk for a long, very long time without jumping over stuff because it is Quiz Club Minute. Now, how this game is played, I can already sense the tension in the room. <laughs> this uh, this round is a very specific round. So if you have any, someone is being shot and arrested outside. Who is this game? Sorry, Doc. They're coming. They said we, we had a call saying Civil War lost to Empire Strikes Back. We're trying to figure out who done it. All right. Uh, quiz Club Minute. How this one's played. It's very specific with the rules. So if you have any questions, Emma, uh, Joao, Wasaki, Jake, you guys have played this a lot. So if you guys have any questions for first timers or second timers, let me know. Um, because Quiz Club Minute is played just like this. All right. I'm going to have to mute somebody. Who's Sorry. Like, that's Joao. It is Joao. Okay, you, Joao, I just got to meet you just for a quick second. Just got to unmute yourself whenever you're ready. <laughs> it's like that cop is outside his door as we speak. They're, All right, they're um, about to break down his door. They are about they're to break in. down. Where's Joao? All right. Um, uh, for oh, Quiz Club Minute, I will give everyone uh, a movie or TV show. You must talk about this movie TV show for one full minute. Here are the rules. You cannot hesitate. You cannot deviate. And you cannot repeat words. For example, hesitating, you cannot say ums, no uhs, no pauses. Deviate, you can't talk about something else. You can't talk about how you feel about the movie. You can't talk about what's not the plot of that movie. And repeat, uh, repetition, you cannot repeat words. But there are some words you can repeat. For example, let's say the plot uh, that Emma has is the plot of Toy Story 3. She can repeat words, Toy Story and 3, but she cannot repeat anything else. She can... Uh, some of the gray line stuff that I will allow is if she says I, a, and the, they, them, he, she, her, him, his, hers, whatever. There's all of that is okay. Pronouns are okay. It's when you start repeating adjectives, nouns, conjunction, anything that has not, that is not like a connecting sentence word, you cannot repeat. Yes, Emma. Uh, what about names of the characters? That's a good question. If their name is in the title, you can repeat it. So for example, let's say it's uh, Scott Pilgrim versus the world. You can repeat words, Scott Pilgrim versus the world. You can repeat Scott Pilgrim as many times as you'd like, but you cannot repeat anything else. So if there are another character is in that movie and it's not in the title, you cannot repeat that word. Um, also, uh, deviation, an example of deviation, you can't just say Scott Pilgrim, Scott, Scott Pilgrim, Scott Pilgrim. Oh my God, I cannot say that many times fast. Uh, that would be deviation. You're not saying the plot and synopsis. Um, and this is going to be an open room game. So one person's on the hot seat. Everyone's going to be on the hot seat once, by the way. Uh, everyone's on the hot seat once. When that person on the hot seat is going, everyone else in the, in the room is going to ba basically be not judging you, but they're going to be on standby to see if you repeat, hesitate, or deviate. Um, if Let's say Emma's going. She's like, yada, 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 yada. And then Jake is like buzzing in Jake. Hesitation. She said yada. If it's a correct get uh, challenge, I'm judge, jury, and executioner here. If it is a correct challenge, I will give two points to Jake. Uh, and then Jake continues either where, he, where she left off or he starts from the beginning of that plot with however much time is left in that minute. Does that make sense, Joao and Emma? Okay. Also... Anybody can get points to this round. This is not a this is not a um, crazy rich resume Oscar winning performance where it's like one person goes. But you can jump in, jump in and, and buzz in and, and take control. But remember, if you're on the hot seat for as long as you can hold yourself on the hot seat, you you, uh, you got some points. Double points are in Emma's favor this round. So Emma, you really could catapult from 14 points up. You can catapult gotta, this round. Steal this round. You can really get points in this round. So I'm excited. Um, for every 10 seconds that passes that you're talking, three points. Six to Emma, three points for every 10 seconds. Um, if you correctly challenge, you get two points. Four for Emma if she correctly challenges. Uh, questions there? Any Anyone Anyone with questions? Are we all good? 
Good. All right. Uh, for my folks who who have played this before, I'm gonna have you guys do this first. Emma, have you played first? Before? Have you played this one before? Nope. No. Okay. Jake and Wasaki, one of you guys is gonna go first, just so we can have the newbies take. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I love to see it. All right. Jake is gonna start us off. Jake, go ahead and pick a number one, two, three, or four. One. One. It is. All right. He's gonna have the number one movie on my list. This is another Harry Potter themed round. Whoa. You kind of already see where I'm going. These are going to be the plots and synopsis to Harry Potter themed films. Jake, to start us off, you have the plot and synopsis to Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I knew it. I was saying knew it. <laughs> All right. Now, Jake, let me go ahead and get my timer set up. Let me get this started. All right. Remember, buzz in with a challenge. Does he repeat? Does he hesitate? Does he deviate from the topic? Jake, whenever you start talking, I start your time. Harry Potter gets dropped on the doorstep of the Dursleys, who treat him like shit for 11 years. One day, Hagrid kicks down the door of their vacation home and tells him that he is a wizard. He goes to Diagon Alley to pick up his school supplies, including an owl, a wand, and money from Gringotts the Bank. He goes to Hogwarts, the school of witchcraft and wizardry, where he meets Ron Weasley, Hermione Granger, and Draco Malfoy. He then joins the Quidditch team and learns that he's a good seeker, which you catch the snitch with as you fly on a broom. Quirrell, professor of muggle studies, is uh the dang it what was Saki? <laughs> was Saki? Is just messing up i don't know <laughs> i'll take it <laughs> correct you challenge was really, really good you was really good that Jake. was really, really good. good i do have a I, can feel, I can feel yeah go ahead Emma. go ahead so he did say door twice could i have called that you could have you could have ah, called it no could have okay. called it uh three six nine that very good stuff by the way that is Ten and a half points to Jake. 45 seconds there. Very good stuff, Jake. Um, yes, I, I can also feel Ryan Wayne in the back of your head, Jake, because this is his yeah. round, and he's usually taking yeah. people down for this round, so I like that. It was good. Uh, How very correct. did he do? Uh, he did 45 seconds. So you have 15 seconds to play with Wasaki. You have two no, points yeah, on the board for like a correct it. challenge. So, Wasaki, whenever you're ready, you have 15 seconds to play with. You can continue where he left off. Or start over. Remember, any words that he said, you can say. It only okay. works for yourself. So you can say anything he said. Okay. Ready? Ready. Harry Potter. His parents died. Voldemort killed uh, them. And it was very sad. Um, Emma? Hold on, Emma? <laughs> he already said Harry Potter. <laughs> I can repeat those words. She can She can repeat that. She can repeat oh, that. It's, no. yeah, it's just okay, for, for yourself. Yeah, just for yourself. Okay. Jake. Jake? She did just she, say, uh, I did. Yeah, she did say, uh, she did say, uh, I, I will mean, say I incorrect, incorrect challenge from Emma gives Wasaki two points, but a correct oh. challenge gives two points to Jake. Yes. So Wasaki, I, at least I made three. something yeah. and you did go, uh, you, I will have to round down to the nearest five seconds only because you did not make it to full <laughs> 10 seconds, but I'll give you po uh, a, a point and a half for that. So you were up to five and a half for this round. Jake, that is correct challenge to you. That is 12.5 points. Jake, you have eight seconds to play with whenever you're ready. They learn that the Sorcerer's Stone has been stolen from the bank. And on Halloween, Professor Quirrell lets the troll in. And time, time, crazy. time, time. Very good stuff, Jake. Very good stuff there. Jake there killed you go. that. He did really good. Very good stuff. All right. I got four points, though. <laughs> Very good stuff. Three, yeah, very good stuff. Uh, Masaki, I actually have you down for five and a half. So you got five and a half points there because of the time you, you spent talking. Jake, 15 and a half points there for you. Yes, very good stuff. All right. Uh, yes, very good uh, catch on that, by the way. Uh, an incorrect challenge on someone gives that person who got challenged two points just for the future. So Roger, Roger. Who would like to, who would like to go next? No. I can go. Masaki! Right, I'm Wasaki. not good at this game. You're on the hot seat. All right. Wasaki, pick a number one, two, or three. Uh, three. Three. All right. Who? Wasaki, you must Wait. explain the plot and synapses to 
to Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. I haven't seen that. <laughs> <laughs> Should we? Wait, you said, you said what? You haven't seen it? Yeah. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Um, All right, <laughs> uh, Masaki, let me know when you're ready. I got the time. <laughs> what was that? Chihuahua is he's Chihuahua <laughs> next to a, a police station, a NASCAR fire, sta track. fire station, fire station, <laughs> actually. Oh my station. god, okay, okay. Nice. okay. Um, Wasaki, whenever oh. you're ready, let's start your time. Okay. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay, I'm gonna start now. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Grindelwald is a bad guy. He wants all wizards to be pure blood wizards, and so all the muggles, he's trying to get rid Jake. of them, right? Jake? Jake, repetition of the word wizard. That is a repetition <laughs> of the word wizard. Uh, wizard, wizard. Was I on the right track? <laughs> Uh, you, I didn't I make it ten seconds, did I? You didn't, but I'll round up because I can't round down. It's too too high of a number to round down. You were at eight point eight six seconds, so I'll give oh, you yeah. the full three points for that. Very good stuff, Asaki. Two for the correct challenge of Jake. Jake, whenever you're ready, you have. Uh, oh, and I reset my time. Give me one second, but you have fifty two seconds to play with. <laughs> give me one second to reset the timer. Okay, whenever you are ready, Jake, I resume your time. After Grindelwald is captured and goes to prison in the previous movie, he escapes and then sets uh, a gang of Nifflers along. Wait, the Wasaki. Wasaki? Uh, he said, uh. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> Wasaki, correct <laughs> challenge. Wow, you have a good ear. I was so into this. Like, what are you saying? Correct challenge. No, An extra two points to Wasaki. That, like, presence that you're just like, oh, yeah. He's yeah, I got like so caught into it. Uh, a little closer to 10 seconds, Jake. I'm going to round that up. That brings you to... Three extra points there. Five points for you for this go around. Masaki, you have 44 seconds to play with whenever you're okay. ready. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm going to start. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Grindelwald is a bad guy, and he decides to, like, get rid of all the muggles, right? And Albus Dumbledore is like, no. And he Jake. goes with former... Jake? You said like twice. She did say like. That was uh, a repetition of the word like. I'm <laughs> just a valley stuff. girl. <laughs> <laughs> Three points to Wasaki. That was in exactly 10 seconds. And yes. two points to the correct challenge. So Jake brings you up to seven for this go round. Jake, whenever you're ready, you have 34 seconds to play with whenever you're ready. So there's all these fantastic beasts loose in New York. And Newt, now with his gang of friends, has to go and calm them. And so he goes with his trusty Niffler, and he fights this giant hey, Joel. dragon. Joel? Um, he, he he's repeating and a lot. Is that? And is okay. I'll, I'll give. Oh. I'll give. Yeah, I will. I won't give two points to Jake there. I know it's first time playing, but uh, that was a, that was that was fine. I but like I will say you might. Questions. Oh, yes, Emma. Um, you saying all the animals were loose in New York? That is the first Fantastic Beast, not the Crimes oh. of Grindelwald. Oh, yeah. Emma, are you challenging? Uh, <laughs> yep. Yep. Emma, go ahead and throw in a yeah. challenge if you'd like. All okay. right, Emma, that is a correct challenge. Very good stuff, though, Jake. A little under 20 seconds, so I'll round it down. So that's three plus 4.5 points. 4.5 points going to you, Jake. 11.5 to you as of right now. Emma, on the scoreboard so far for this round. Correct challenge, four points. Emma, you have 20 seconds to play with whenever okay. you are ready. Um. Okay. Do I have to... <laughs> So the words that they've already said, I can't repeat anymore. Is part you of the you can you can you can just be it's careful you don't repeat the words you say. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Because like I haven't been keeping that great of track of what people other people have been saying. That's all good. That's um, all good. Whenever so, you're ready. Fantastic beasts and the crimes of Grindelwald. We start off with Grindelwald escaping from prison. What turn around? It's not even him. He gets a different person to act as him after they take his tongue out. And then we see Grindelwald escape, and then he gathers all of these wizards to join his cause. Of and time. Of Very good stuff, Emma. Very, Very good, good stuff. Good. Very good stuff. Yeah. 20 that seconds. Good. Uh, that is 
double points, six, six, 12 points to you, Emma. Okay. Very good stuff. 16 yeah, points no just then with a challenge in the 20 second. Very good stuff. All right. Who would like to go next? Emma, Joelle, who would like to go next? I don't want to start it. I'm Joelle to go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> Joelle's on the hot seat. All right. Joelle, uh, pick a number one or two. Let's go two. Two it is. Joao, whenever you are ready, you are going to be explaining the plot and synopsis to Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. All right. I'm going to go ahead and solo you, Joao, whenever you're ready. I think I've seen it. I've only seen, oh, I think I skipped this one. Uh, okay. All okay. right. We'll see, we'll see how it plays. We'll see how it plays. All right, Joao, whenever you're ready, I start your time. Okay. So Harry Potter is in Hogwarts with all his fellow classmates. And uh, a new adventure ensues. Wasaki. Wasaki? He said, uh. That is correct. That is a correct challenge of hesitation. Just a little bit. Joao, you did get some points there. Uh, a point and a half going to you, good sir. You did pass the five second mark. Very good stuff. Correct challenge to Wasaki brings you from eight points total. Or no, sorry. That was from last one. This one, two points going on there. I'm just adding it. So I have like a bracket for each plot. So um, there you go. Wasaki, you have... Do, do, do. 54 seconds to play with whenever you are ready. I start your time. This is specifically the movie, right? Yes. Oh, either way, it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> ready? Okay. Harry Potter is in his second year of Hogwarts School of Wizardry, right? And they all go into the school. <laughs> Joelle? Joelle? Uh, the laugh hesitation? Does that count? I'll give it a hesitation. She did pause after the laugh okay. a little bit. Very good I stuff. 10 seconds, 10 seconds to Wasaki brings you up Woo! to five points there for this plot. Four, uh, sorry, two points for a correct guess. Uh, challenge, I'm sorry, to Joao. Joao, you have 41 seconds to play with whenever you are ready. I continue your time. Okay. Now, Harry and his group of friends are riffing with the Slytherin. Jake. Oh. Jake? <laughs> That's deviation and like uh, hesitation. I'm going to call both of those. Okay. Deviation, the group. All right. Deviation on the group. Uh, five seconds, another point and a half to you. So that brings you up to five points there, Joel. Very good stuff. Correct challenge to Jake. Two extra points adding on to this one. Jake, you have 34, point, or 34 seconds whenever you are ready. I resume your time. Dobby, the house elf appears to Harry at the Dursley's house and warns him not to go back to school because we find out at Hogwarts, there is a basilisk on the loose, petrifying students and cat. So he has to go to the Chamber of Secrets in order to fight the basilisk and silence uh, Tom Emma? Riddle. Emma? He said basilisk twice. That is a repetition of Vasilis. Uh, very good catch. Very good catch. Uh, very good stuff, though. Jake, you went 20, 20 seconds. Yeah, very good stuff. 20 seconds, that is uh, two on top of six. So that's eight points going to you, Jake. Correct challenge to Emma brings her to 20 points. Emma, whenever you're ready, you have uh, 11 seconds to play with. Whenever you're ready, I resume seconds. your time. And I can start at any point of describing the plot, correct? Yeah, whenever you like. Let's see. <laughs> Harry Potter goes to Hogwarts after trying to be stopped by Dobby and finds out that students are being frozen by some petrification spell. And they have to and figure time. out- Very good stuff, Emma. Very good stuff. 11 points. I'll round that. Have to do, I have to round it down. But that is- cool, Six points to you. Six points. Emma, 26 points so far for this round. Very good. That double points is really helping you out. Very good stuff. Yeah. All right. Well, Emma, you are on the hot seat now. You're next on the hot seat. So okay. you have the last plot and synopsis starting today for Gotta round get. three. You will be explaining the plot and synopsis to fantastic beasts and where to find them. Amazing. All right. Emma, whenever you're ready, I, I will start. Yeah, I will start your time. Let's see. This movie starts off with our main character, Newt Scamander, coming to New York looking for, oh, sorry, 
wow, looking to buy with Saki. With Saki? Deep deviation, you know, hesitation. A little, a little hesitation there. That is a correct challenge. Very good stuff, though. Emma, I do got to round it up a little bit. Um, it's it's eight yeah. seconds, so I'll round it up, just to be fair. Uh, it's closer to 10 than it is to five. So um, that is six points to you, Emma. Uh, two for a correct challenge from Wasaki. Wasaki, when you are ready, you have 52 seconds to play with. I don't remember this movie at all. <laughs> um, <laughs> Okay. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. It starts before <laughs> all the stuff that happens at Hogwarts in the Harry Potter universe. There is Newt Scalamander. That's not how you say his name. But <laughs> he has all these Fantastic Beasts and he goes to New York City in like the 20s. And he... <laughs> really? No Jake. one stopped. I feel like I messed up so much. <laughs> I give the hesitation there. Very good stuff. I was you insane. went. There is 20 seconds. I'll round oh. it down to 20 seconds, Wasaki. That is an additional six points to that. Very nice. good stuff. Correct challenge to Jake brings him uh, an extra two points to you. Jake, whenever you're ready, you have 29 seconds to play with. Oh, you're ready. an eternity. <laughs> <laughs> New York City. Newt has to stop these loose fantastic beasts in New York City. At the end of the movie, all the nomadges have to get their memories wiped because they saw all this crazy stuff, including Grindelwald fighting Albus Dumbledore, which was super dope. And unfortunately, the bad guy loses and then gets arrested. And Newt saves the day and all the fantastic beasts are put back where they need to be, he writes a book about it, which becomes the standard wait, book. And time, oh, time, wait, time. Wrong. Just at the right. buzzer, just at the buzzer. Yeah, meter, just at the yeah, buzzer. Man. Very wrong. good stuff. 30 <laughs> seconds for you, Jake. I'll round, I'll round up that one extra second. 30 seconds, that is an additional nine points right there. Very good stuff, guys. Very good yeah, stuff. Yeah. Everyone got points on the board there. Very good stuff. Let me add up those points. It's a lot of math, so let me add that up for you guys really quick, and then uh, we'll see where the points stand. As the points stand, also the play for in fourth place, Joao with 21. We come on back. Wow. We come on back, Joao. Don't you worry. We still got one beefy got one round more. to finish out Quiz Club. So don't you worry. We, we, we've seen some comebacks. Points. Trust me. Yep. Jake, Jake once, just Joao, give you a little backstory on Jake's uh, backstory. He came back 80 points in the last round of Quiz Club and he won okay. the title that episode. So I'm it's not giving it's up. I'm not giving up. I still, I still, yeah, definitely no. Definitely no. Final. Yeah. <laughs> It's close between third and second place. The third place is Emma with 46. Very good stuff, Emma. Very good stuff. Bringing up that, that average, Emma. Bringing up that average. Right yeah. in front of her by 0. 0.5 points is Wasaki with 46 Whoa. and a half. Very okay. good stuff. Very good stuff. And the man to beat, Jake Jeffers, 86 points. Jake, you're getting close to 100 right there, good sir. Um, if I look at my statistics, if I if I put on my statistics hat for a second, let me see your record, see if you could break it today, if possible. Jake, you broke your record today. Your your previous record was 83 and a half on episode 32. You broke your your oh. own personal record today. So very good stuff to you, Jake. Yeah. Congrats. Right. There is there is still one more round of quiz club today, and it's a beefy one. Points can go anywhere. So we're gonna see how this goes. Folks. We, we talk about it all the time, right? There's always a kryptonite round for everyone. It's usually the last round where tensions get high, points are all over the place. And uh, you know, you're really, you really gotta fight. You gotta fight your will to survive folks. And it is because the last round of Quiz Club is the survival games. Now, how the survival games is played. This game is a beefy round. This, uh, I will give you guys a category. We will go around and each player has to name something or somebody in that category to stay alive. For example, if it's a, a general category, for example, name a Michael Jackson song, I'll be going around the room one by one and getting a Michael Jackson song, next person. So I'll go Emma, Joao, Jake, Wasaki, and then it'll come back around. Emma, Joao, Jake, Wasaki. So it's really gonna come down to what's what's all in your, in your deep knowledge for that. Uh, each answer is a correct point. Or if it's not general, it could be something that's in chronological order or reverse chronological order. For example, Harry Potter films in reverse chronological release order. Or we've done MCU movies Ow. in release chronological order. So I'll be very specific with that, that as well. 
<laughs> if it's a if it's a general topic, you cannot name something or somebody that's already been said. So if if it's Michael Jackson songs and Emma said Billy Jean, if I go down to Joao, he says bad. If I go to Jake and Jake says Billy Jean, I will take a life from Jake that's already been said. If it has to be in reverse or in chronological order, it has to be in that order. So if it's Harry Potter films in film chronological order, Emma says the first film and we go to Wasaki. Wasaki's like, has this one been said? And it happens to be the first film. I'll take a life. So it has to be in order if it's in order. Um, you lose lives. I, I, I'll change it for each one. Sometimes I give you guys two lives. Sometimes I give you three. We'll see. We'll see when it comes to it. Um, but this one is the round that actually is the hardest test when it comes to knowledge. So this is where we weed out to figure out who survives and takes the mantle of the quiz club championship. All right. Any questions so far? Any questions? Yes. Yes, Jake. Yeah. Isn't there a hot streak? Uh, is there a hot streak? I think so. I, I don't know if I do that with the final round of quiz. I might. Yes, I do. Oh, okay. I do. So there is a hot streak to this round as well. So let's say the order is Emma, Joao, Jake, Wasaki, Emma, Joao, Jake, Wasaki. Let's say Joao misses the first time around, Jake misses the second, Wasaki misses the first, but Emma's got it all right the three times I came to her. On her fourth time, no, sorry. If her first two are right and I come on her fourth or her third time, her hot streak begins, which means every correct answer I get from her is double value. So instead of one point for a correct guess, it's now two. And that's only, a hot streak only begins if you, your first two, if you get two in a row, if you get that third one in a row, it's double value. Um, there are also placement points. For example, let's say we're going in an order and we're starting to knock stuff off. Let's say Jake, he loses his lives. He's out. The person who's out first does not get any placement points, but he gets whatever he got correct. So let's say he got 10 correct, but he's out first. He gets 10 points. Let's say Emma's out next. She places third. She's out. Emma gets, let's say she got 12 points correct. If she gets 12 points and she's out second, so she places third, she gets an additional four points for placing third. Let's say it's down to Wasaki and Joao, Wasaki and Joao, and Wasaki is out next. She gets 14 points. She gets 14 plus her placement points for placing second. She gets six points. Joao, if you give me one correct Guess. One more correct guess. If you're the only one here in no man's land, give me one more correct guess. You get that correct and you get placement points of being in first place. I give you 10 additional points. If you don't, you still place first, so I'll give you 8. But if you get that correct one, you get 10. If that makes sense. Also, this round is very much an underdog's best friend round. So that means Jake will not be going first, second, or third. He will be going last. That also means... Um, if Jake is the last one standing, he places first, I cut him off there. But if anyone else places first and you have more in the chamber, I let you keep going until you get one incorrect or you're out of order because this is really the underdog round. So that's a, it's a good thing that Jake's in first place because he's in the lead. But if he's out and you guys, are, you, got, you guys can really come back with this one, I'll tell you that. You guys can come back. Any questions, Joao, Emma? I don't know if you if you guys played this one, Emma. I don't know if you've played this one. I've not played, but I don't have any questions as of right now. Okay. Joao, we all good here? Cool. All right. I'm excited. I love it. We have four different categories for this round. Some of them are short. One of them is pretty beefy. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, again, no cheating, no looking up answers. I please refrain from using your phones. I know, Emma Wasaki, you're on your you're recording on your phone, so yeah. it's pretty easy. Um so uh, yeah, this first one, keeping it keeping it in theme with uh, Barbenheimer that just came out. We got a couple Barb Barbenheimer uh, trivia's here. This first one is going to be every titled Barbie song on the soundtrack. Every titled Barbie 2023 song on the soundtrack. Song names is what I will take as answers. Okay. 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 It should be fun. Uh, remember, keep, we all you guys can keep track. Nice. All right. I like it. Oh, you guys can keep track of um, what has been said. I, I encourage you to do that so you don't forget. Um, and you can guys also can take notes during this round. Obviously, that is open. You guys can take notes. All that good stuff. All right. I have the entire soundtrack in front of me. Of course, um, yeah. I have the entire soundtrack in front of me. No. 
Um, Can you tell us? No. All right. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and start with Joao. Joao, go ahead and give me a song if you, if you like. Uh, Pink by Lizzo. That is correct. Pink by Lizzo. Also, you don't have to tell me who it's by, but uh, if you give me a song title name and it's about 75% close to what the title is, I'll give it to you. So that is correct. Pink from Lizzo. Whoa. It's a bop. Uh, also, everyone gets title? two lives. Pink. 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 P. Right. Panic. I. I'm scared. <laughs> Nauseous. Uh, K. Nice. Death. Death. <laughs> uh, Emma, we'll go to you. The Ken song. I'm just Ken. <laughs> What's it called? Ken. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. The Ken song. The Ken song. I'm Ken Emma, I will give you that point. I appreciate Be it. careful. Well, that was sixty six that was that was thirty three point three percent of the title, <laughs> but I'll give it to you. <laughs> what's the re- what's the you. whole title? Uh, I'm just Ken. I'm just Ken. I'm just Ken. She I'm sang just... it. I did say uh, was I'm just Ken. <laughs> what was I made for? Billy Island. It's a bop. That song makes you cry. I mean, that's what makes you cry. <laughs> All right, Jake. <laughs> uh, perfect day from the Legally Blonde movie. <laughs> that would have been so good. That is incorrect. Been so good in there. One life lost to Jake. He's still in it. One life lost. Also, everyone gets two lives. Like I said, uh, Joao, it's on to you. Uh, I think it's titled Barbie World. It is titled Barbie World. Very good stuff. There is a song called Barbie World. Right. Uh, Ice Spice, Nicki Minaj. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nicki Minaj. I'm a doll, but I still like to party. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it is. laughs> I'm on to you. That was on my playlist, so I kind of know that one. Good. That's a bop. Uh, Emma? We're going to go with I'm a Barbie Girl. <laughs> That is about 70%. Barbie Girl. Her, the original Aqua Barbie Girl song is in the movie. I'll oh, give that yes. to you. That's another point to Emma. Thank you. Thank you. Musaki. Where is that? They just played it. Because I thought there was a whole lawsuit that Mattel was just like, no, you can't put that in there. No, anyway. it was in it. I don't, yeah, it was in it. It's probably I don't at the very where, end. It's probably. Yeah, it's probably on the other thing. Um, Speed Drive. Speed Drive. There you go. That's on there. That was a good deep cut. All right. Jake, one life remaining. What you got? Plastic. Plastic? I thought I saw something. Hold on. I actually think I see plastic. Hold on. Yo. (laughs) I'm so sorry, Jake. That was close. I was was like, really? Plastic is not on there. Plastic is not on there. Uh, Jake is out. That was a good guess, though. That's a good guess. That's a good guess. Good guess. Good guess. Jake walks out with zero points. You guys are in the lead right now. As of right now, um, you're in a good spot. Jake's out. So, Joao, goes back on to you. Push by Matchbox 20. Push. Yes, that is correct. Very good stuff. Very good stuff. Emma, it's on to you. Let me do this. Whoop. I didn't have anything else. <laughs> um, I think. Background music. <laughs> Does that count? Do you have a song name? You want to throw out a song name? A song name? I mean, you already said pink, so. S- stereotypical Barbie. Mm. I feel like it's a good one. That's incorrect. Uh, one life lost from Emma. She's still in it. Wasaki, okay. it's on to you. Um, hey, Blondie. That is correct. Very good stuff. You have I a know. soundtrack, don't you? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that. Joao, on to you. You still have two lives. I, I can't say the artist name, right? No, artist name it's doesn't count. No. That doesn't count. Not necessarily. No. Um, uh, patriarchy, something patriarchy. Let's see. Patriarchy. Let me check. Patriarchy. Patriarchy. Incorrect. That was not on the soundtrack. But one life lost. Wow, is still in it. Emma, one life remaining. Two points on the board. What do you got? 
Um, I only saw the movie once. I can't think of any like other songs that are because you already said the Billie Eilish song and. <laughs> we're gonna go with beach beach, beach, day, beach day. Oh, they, were, they were beaching each other My off beach, off. <laughs> beach is <laughs> not no. not on there emma unfortunately you do walk out oh we're really close whoa emma you do walk out with two plus four point six points for you emma very good stuff uh it goes to wasaki Saki, what do you got? Dance the night. Dance the night. Oh, That's a bop. Dance, Dance the night away. Dance the night away. That song's a bop. I be bumping. I like I do a Dua Lipa. <laughs> Dua Lipa. Uh, Joelle, one life remaining. What you got? Okay. Um, uh, I mean, I'm going to do a strategy. Uh, Gloria Dean. Something with Gloria Dean. Anything? Gloria. Gloria Dean. No. Uh, that is incorrect. Uh, very good stuff, though, Joelle. I will say uh, three points on top of six. Very good stuff. Um, also, Wasaki, Can you're on hot going? streak. I, I forgot to mention, you You keep going. You are in the underdog spot. Keep going. You are on a hot streak, though. So instead of four points right now, you have two, two, two. So you have two, four, six. You have six points right now. Six points. Okay. So each one that you get correct is two points. Got it. So we're going to go with the Sam Smith one, Man I Am. That is correct. Another two points. <laughs> oh, since I'm you got so a correct, you did since you got problem. one more correct, you will for sure be getting 10 placement points, but you keep going until you run okay. out. Okay. Um, Angel. Angel. Correct. Another two points. Um, okay. Now these are ones I'm like, I actually don't know for sure. Um, um, journey to the real world. That is correct. That's Another for two sure points. One. Um, oh, fuck, is that the name of it? Butterflies. That is correct. You're doing really good so far. Another two points. Uh, she really wants to defend this title, y'all. This one, this one, okay, this one's about it's. Silver platter, silver platter. That is correct. Khalid, I didn't realize that was Khalid. I'm gonna have to listen to that. It's really good. Have to it's to really that. good. Okay. That's Love the Khalid. last one, I think. Okay. I think you there's like Hail, Hail Mary. I think there's one called like Home. That probably is correct. Another two <gasps> points. Really? <laughs> Wait, who's that by? Uh, Haim. Haim. H A I M. Okay. Haim. Yeah. That. Yeah, I think that's gonna be it. I think that's my run. All right. Wave the white flag there. We'll take it. Very good stuff. 10, 5, 10, 15, 18 plus 10, 28 points going to Wasaki just then. Very Yay! good stuff. 28 to Wasaki, 6 to Emma, 9 to Joao. Very good stuff, you guys. Let me add those points really quick. All right, folks. It's getting tough. You you really came back there, Wasaki. You were just shy so far, but we'll jump into the points. Fourth place. Joao with 30. Very good stuff, Joao. Very good stuff. Bring it up. Uh, third place is Emma with 52. Emma getting up there in the 50s. I like it. You're about to pass my uh, my only solo quiz club um, that I played. I had 58 points, so you're, you're getting up there. You might pass it. Uh, second place is Wasaki with 74.5. We come back. Come Just back, kid. Come back, kid. Coming back. Coming back, kid. I like 11 and a half hard. points. Yeah, <laughs> 11 and a half points. I had Jake with 86. All still to play for, folks. There's still a chance. There's still a chance for everyone to anyone to walk out. We still have three more parts of this round. The next one is going to be Tom Cruise feature film. <laughs> Every Tom Cruise wow. feature film. No cheating, as always. Go ahead this and write down your happening. answers. I'll give you guys a minute starting now. Joao will be starting us off. Then Let's Emma. Go. Then Wasaki. Then Let's start off with a risky business. Oh, oh, you're starting off the bat? Okay, oh, okay. Whoa, 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 I'll, take, whoa. I'll take it. I'll give Emma a, a minute, but I'll take that as a first guess. Thank uh, you. No worries. <laughs> Emma, I'll give you I'll give you a minute to write it down, but uh, I'll give that. I actually to forgot two. a pencil, so I've just been I've just been using my little noggin. Uh Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning. That is correct. I'll give it to you since part two hasn't coming out. 
it is part one, but I'll give it to you. It's the only one that's out right now. Also, these are only yeah. movies that have released, not um, that are going to release, just movies that have released. All right, Wasaki, on to you. The Outsiders. That is correct. <laughs> Very good stuff. There you go. I like that. There. Yeah, a little callback. I like it. Oh right. my gosh. Okay. Jake Jeffers, man in the lead. What do you think? Mission Impossible. There you go. Mission Impossible. There you go. All right. Point to Jake. Joao, on back to you. Uh, let's go with Rain Man. Very good stuff. Rain Man. There you go. Deep cuts for Tom Cruise. Emma. Back to you. I'm going Bartender. Barta, is that actually one? Um, I, I just hear people make jokes about it all the time, so I really, I really hope it's actually real and I haven't been gaslit my entire life. Uh, <laughs> oh, Emma, I think you've been gaslit. It is not no! called Bartender. I know what you're talking about. It's not it's not called like, Bartender. Oh, you know Tom Cruise from Bartender. Unfortunately, I do need to I do need to hit you with one of these. That's fine. I gotta hit you a little bit. One life remaining though, Emma, you're still in it. Wasaki, it's on to you. Rock of Ages. Rock of Ages, another point to Wasaki. I fucking Jake. love that movie. Uh Top Gun Maverick. Top Gun Maverick. Oh. We talked about it earlier in the episode as well. Top Gun Maverick. Joao. Let's go with uh, Eyes Wide Shut. Eyes Wide Shut is correct. Very good stuff. All right. Emma, one life remaining. What do you say? Um, also, Joao's hot streak first- has begun. Two points from now on. So you are at four so far, Joao. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, the first Top Gun movie. Top Gun. I'll take it. You said it. I'll take it. Wasaki. One correct guess, and you start hot streak. Austin Powers in the gold member one. I'll give it give to me. Give me that. Okay, there cool. you go. I'll give it to you. you in it to you. <laughs> nice. All right. Two points, by the way, value for Wasaki and Jake so far. Jake, it's on to you. Tropic Thunder. Tropic oh, Thunder. Yeah. Another one that was in the quiz. Okay. There you go. There you go. All right. Joao, back on to you. Good, sir. Your hot streak is continuing. Let's go, Let's go Vanilla Sky. Vanilla Sky, 2001. I like it. Emma, next one. Scientology. Scientology. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hate on Tom Cruise. For Scientology. Have a point. You should get half a point for that. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> has been eliminated. Very good stuff, though, Emma. Two points. You're walking out so far out of this portion of the round. Very good stuff. Uh, Wasaki, back to you. I'm, po- I'm hoping... That this doesn't have a full name, but I'm gonna say Mission Impossible Three. Mission Impossible Three is correct. Two Does points. Have a... It's just Mission I'm Impossible. I'm gonna 3. keep going on that route. <laughs> <laughs> Jake, it's on to you. I'm not gonna lie. I was gonna do the exact same thing, but I was gonna do Mission Impossible Two. So I'll go ahead and do that. That is correct. No one said Mission Impossible Two yet. That's Mission good. Impossible Two. Oh wait, I thought. Oh no, right. I'm just. Nobody said it yet. Yeah, nobody said it. Uh, Joao, back on to you. I hope no one said this. Mission Impossible Fallout. Nobody said it. That is correct. Two points to you, Joao. Wasaki, it's back to you. Um. Oh, I don't know if this is right. Wasn't he in a in a the Mummy in a Mummy movie? The Mummy. That is correct. I will take that. The Mummy. Oh. There you go. I'll give I you that. Like- he was in the 2017 Mummy. I remember watching that trailer and I was like, oh, this looks ridiculous. I don't know if it yeah, was good or not. I don't know if you guys it, have seen it. But I watched it, it too. I was like, oh, that's okay. great. Yeah. All right. Um, Jake, it's on to you. You guys are all on hot streak so far. 42. He is unfortunately not in. Wait. That was oh, wait, 42. Who was that for? He said what? Was, wasn't that in the quiz? No, that was Harrison Ford. Uh, Harrison yeah, Ford, yeah. Jake, you're all good. You still got one life remaining. Hot streak does end for you for now, but you can always get back into it. Joao, it's on to you. Okay, let's just knock off these Mission Impossibles. Let's do Ghost Protocol. That is correct. Mission Impossible Protocol. Ghost Protocol. Very good catch. Wasaki, yep. on to you. Did we say Rain Man yet? That has already been said. That is a <laughs> life lost. Hot streak ends, but I you're still in that. it. Still in it. Jake, one life remaining. It's on to you. Um, hold on. I'm just going to throw out one. 
Give me a second here. Uh, James Bond, uh, 007 Skyfall. <laughs> <laughs> Incorrect. Jake has been eliminated. Jake, you got six points on top. Whoa, we're always so close. Oh my God. Six points on top of four. Very good stuff, Jake. That's 10 points right there. Uh, Joel, it's on to you. Hey, man. Show me the money, Jerry Maguire. Jerry Maguire. There you go. Oh. Two points. Joel's on a hot streak. He's going. I like it. He's going. Talking, talking um, One life remaining, by the way. Um, I remember watching this movie in passing, and it is The Last Samurai. That is correct. Very good stuff. Oh, that's a deep cut. That's a super that deep, is a cut. deep cut. My, a deep my cut. stepdad was watching it, and I looked up, and I said, what's this? And he said, The Last Samurai. And I said, okay, and I walked away. <laughs> it, the fact that you, like, put that, like, you know, mental picture in there. Nice. I remember I like the weirdest things, and that's yeah. one of them. <laughs> nice. Okay. Joao, hot streak still going. Good, sir. You're getting points. Right. You have another one? Uh, for I, think, I think the one that Emma was wanting to say was cocktails. Cocktail. I'll give it to you. Okay. I'll give that to you. It is cocktail. That was one. That one actually, that one looks interesting. I'm going to have to check that one out. Check that one out. Two points to you, Joel. Wasaki, it's on to you. I'm going to say Rock of Ages 2, The Rockening. <laughs> Let me just check. That is in. To check that was wrong. <laughs> uh, Wasaki, you do have nine points on top of placements, six points. 15 points for you. Walking out of that one. Yeah, Very good job, in, Masaki. Now I'm in murky waters. Oh. Like I'm trying to like scramble yeah. my mind for like Tom Cruise. Wow, you're still on a hot, I will say, you're still on a hot streak. Give me one more. You get 10 placement points for sure. And you keep going. You're in the underdog spot. See if okay. you have more for you. Give me a, oh, one second. Oh my God. Is it, is it Jack Ryan? Is that what it was called? Oh my God. Jack Ryan. Jack Ryan. <laughs> Is not the correct title. One life remaining, Joel. One life remaining. Okay. All right. God, now I'm just blanking now. I've seen so many of these movies. Oh my God. Were all the Mission Impossible is called already? I think they're all were already set up. Yeah. Uh, I can't confirm um, or deny. Shit. Um, oh, The Color of Money. The color of money. I might need to look that up. That is correct. There you go. Oh, my ten for sure. In ten placement for sure. You keep going. You keep going. That was only one value though, since the hot trick ended. Um. Oh my god. Gee, I. I can't. I think. I, I think I'm gonna have to bow on this one. I, I can't think of another one. Without, Do you want like, to wave the flag yeah. there, Joel? Yeah, I, I think unless unless no one said um, no, I think that one was said already. No, I'm gonna wave the flag. Wave the flag on this one. All right, wave the very good stuff, Joel. Very good stuff. Fifteen points plus ten, twenty-five. Woo! No, sorry, yes, twenty-five points to Joel. We come Two back. back. We come on back. Come back Fifteen Jake. to Wasaki, okay, ten wait. to Jake. Let me add those points to you guys. Very good stuff, Joel. Very good stuff. Fourth place is Emma with 54. Look how close that is between you guys. Holy cow. Fourth place is Emma. Very good stuff, Emma. We come on back. Don't you worry about it. We come on back. Come on back. Third place right in front of her by a point. Joao with 55. That's that comeback is brewing a little bit, Joao. Come back to brewing. Come back to brewing. That top of the cream of the crop, she's on your tail, Jake, and I know you feel it. Second place is Wasaki with 89 and a half yeah. points. 10 and a half from, from hitting 100, Wasaki. Um, four points from hitting a hundred for Jake, 96 points for Jake Jeffers. Yeah. All still to play for. We got two more to go, two more to go. The more tense it gets, the later we go. This next one is uh, not a general one. We had some general ones for sure. This one is a reverse chronological order. So we got to make sure we, gotta, uh, we know our dates. Of Harry this Potter. One is, this one is also the order for this one is going to be Emma, Joao, Wasaki, Jake. This one is Christopher Nolan, Feature films and release a reverse chronological order. Starting with what just came out. 
Can well, I know the one that just came out. <laughs> These are directed. Anything written, else? I'll I take those. Um, Not produced, obviously. I don't think he produces. He more just mean writes and directs. But Christopher Nolan feature films in reverse release chronological order. I'm going to go ahead and take some answers. Emma, we're going to start with you. What movie came out in 2023? Oppenheimer did. There you go. Yeah. Point. Nice also, two points. Uh, sorry, two lives to everyone. Uh, that is a point to Emma. Joao, what Christopher Nolan film came out in 2020? Tenet. That is correct. Tenet. Very good stuff. Wasaki, what Christopher Nolan film came out in 2017? I actually know this. And it is, oh fuck, and it is Dunkirk. Yo, is oh, Very champion, yo, she, he's not going down without a fight. She's not going down without a fight. Oh uh, yeah, she's going down swinging. <laughs> Jake, it's on to you, good sir. What Christopher Nolan film came out in 2014? Uh, Inception? One life lost for Jake. Folks, hit that little slip up. The door's opened a little bit for you guys. That slip up might have saved it. That little thing. Emma, it's on to you. What Christopher Nolan film came out in 2014? That's a great question. That's an amazing question. (laughs) And I... Totally know this. I don't know a single Christopher Nolan movie. No, it's my um, favorite filmmaker right there. 2014? Mm-hmm. You said, we'll just go with Marvel, because I know he didn't do it. Uh, was it 2014 that either Guardians or came out, right? The first one? Is that your final guess? Oh, yeah, no, I know it's wrong, but yes. <laughs> One life lost to Emma. She's still in it. Joao, what Christopher Nolan film came out in 2014? Interstellar. Very good stuff. Point two, Joao, Interstellar, 2014. Wasaki, what that. Christopher Nolan film came out in 2012? This is the one that I know um, that, that um, is The Dark Knight Rises. That is correct. Two was Yo. It's getting tense. It's getting real <laughs> tense. Jake, it's on to Yo, you. you're the she's... she's going through it. Jake, what yeah. Christopher Nolan film came out in 2010? Is this The Dark Knight? Jake has been eliminated. Just Y'all, doggies. he's like, I know he's not doing this on purpose, but... Y'all, the door's opening. The door is open. I'm going to move on to Emma. Emma, what Christopher Nolan film came out in 2010? That's, yep. I don't know. I don't know. No! I don't know what movie came out in 2010. I'm about to cry. I'm so stressed. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm getting attacked by a cat. Good. We're just gonna say Captain America. <laughs> <laughs> that did not. Whoa! All right. Uh, Joao, you are next, good sir. What Christopher Nolan film came out? Also, by the way, one point to Emma. Since you placed third, four points added to that. That's five points for you, Emma. Joao, what Christopher Nolan film came out in 2010? Inception. That is correct. Oh, one let's go. To Joao. Your, your hot streak begins. That's two points to you, actually. Wasaki, with a correct guess, your hot streak begins. You're getting closer to that defending that title. What Christopher Nolan film came out in 2008? The other Batman movie, The Dark Knight. Yo, that is geez. correct. That is Thank correct. Thank you, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> that's all Wasaki I Wasaki just, like, she just, like, has a fight in her that she just, like, you know yeah. what I mean? Like. So it begins. Here we go. We're getting deep. This is deep. This is this is the this is deep. Christopher Nolan. Joao, what Christopher Nolan film came out in two thousand six? Oh my god. Uh, the Dark Knight begins. Oh, Batman Begins. 
That is incorrect. One Life Lost. Wasaki, what Christopher Nolan film came out in 2006? I was going to say The Batman Begins. <laughs> I don't know any other movies. This is a really good um, movie, too. I think you guys would like this movie. If you haven't already seen it, I think. I don't know. Um... Barbie, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Barbie begins. That is Barbie incorrect. begins. One life Barbie's to one both of you guys. I'm gonna skip that one. Actually, can no, I say it? Can I say, can I say what it is? Can I say what it is? Is, is it the prestige? It is the prestige. I'll give you the. I'll give you, you sure went with my gut. gut. I sure went with my gut. Oh. Yeah, the prestige 2006. Fantastic movie. If you guys have not seen it, Hugh Jackman, uh, Christian Bale, and Scarlett Johansson. It is such a good movie. Oh, oh actually, God. that sounds really good. That movie yeah. slaps. Uh, it's about two magicians and how they like are jealous of each other. It's, Sold. A in, it's like a love triangle. It's so good. I love David Bowie's in it. David ten Bowie. out of ten. David yeah, yeah. Bowie's in it. Yeah, I recommend. Highly recommend. Highly oh, recommend. I'm probably gonna watch that right after this. <laughs> Wasaki, on to you. What Christopher Nolan film came out in 2005? Batman Begins. That is a correct point, Sirius <laughs> Wasaki. Wow. What Christopher Nolan film came out in 2002? Amnesia. That is incorrect. That was close, though. Maybe it might, it might be a hint for, for Wasaki. That is incorrect. Joao, you do get six plus six points. That is 12 points right there. It is something that sounds like amnesia, though. Possibly. What film came out in 2002? I don't know. I was barely. I was barely alive. Um, it. Oh my god. It's on the tip of my tongue. Is it the um, when you can't sleep? What's that word? Um. Insomnia. That is correct. Holy shit, Wasaki. I did not think you were going to get that. Very good stuff. You're still in it. My roommate, You're still in she it. loves Christopher Nolan. Nice. So we were talking about his movies. Nice. I love that. Well, you keep going. You're in the underdog spot. You keep going. Wasaki, what Christopher Nolan film came out in the year 2000? I wasn't alive then. I don't know. This is actually the last film, feature film that he did. First one, I guess. The first feature he did. Give me a hint. No, I'm just kidding. I know you can't. Um, Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among <laughs> Thieves. <laughs> it is not. Amnesia helped me so much. I did. I did. Uh, that one was Memento. Another good movie. If you haven't seen it, that movie will make you think like you have lost your memory. It's a good it's movie. About Very good stuff. Oh, is that what you're trying to get with um, Amnesia, the memento? I think, no, I think, were you getting that one? Was that one, the one draw? Okay. Uh, no, I confused that Very with insomnia. Stuff. Yeah. As the points stand, I actually <laughs> left it blank because I like the suspense. In third, fourth place <gasps> is Emma with 59. Very good stuff. Emma, you passed my record. Passed my record. Very good stuff. Yay. Right? So one more section of this round, by the way. It's all still to play for. Just let it be. Third place is Joao with 67. Very good stuff, Joao. It's that, a really good debut for you so it. far. Very good stuff for you so far. Jake has 96 points. Oh, I see that one. <laughs> she broke. Yeah. 105. Don't forget the point five. Yay! So far. Fuck. Oh point five is so critical. I think this is like the nine... most I've ever made in points ever. It is. Was, oh, like a radio 100%. Wasaki, I think, I think you uh, you definitely <laughs> smashed your record. Your <laughs> previous record, Wasaki, was 89. So that was oh. very good stuff. There's still one more part to this round. There's still one more part. There's still points to get on the board. It's getting close. It's getting close. How are you feeling, Jake? <laughs> that lead. Uh, <laughs> I feel stressed. devastated because I wrote down <laughs> Interstellar. I know McConaughey yeah. was in that in 2014, and I fucked it up. Mm -hmm. And then I had already said Inception, and then I didn't get it when it came around. No! <laughs> I'm right. so grateful for your guesses, 
they really <laughs> helped me. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I fucked up because the strategy was like one Batman movie, one for me, one Batman movie, one for me. I should have I should have thought of that. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. One for them, one for me. And I was like, I kind of just. Uh, I will say it's all still to play for still. I promise you. Because this next one's a big one. You can get points all over the place. Wasaki, you are in the lead, but don't let that get to you. Because like Jake, you, you can lose so, the lead I'm real so quick. stressed out, right? <laughs> so in stressed. honor in honor of Barbie, this last one oh. for survival games is general. It is every Margot Robbie <laughs> feature go. film. Every Margot Robbie feature film. The order we will go is Emma, Joao, this time Jake, then Wasaki. I'm going to go with the one that everyone knows about, uh, Barbie. Woo! I didn't know about that one. That's a good guess. I like that. Oh, no! That deep cut right there, really. <laughs> no one knows about this movie. Yeah. All right. Joao, it's on to you, good sir. Uh, let's go with uh, Suicide Squad. I'll take that as Suicide Squad. There you go. 2016 Suicide Squad, um, just because I didn't hear the, the, so I'll take that. Oh, well, maybe, maybe might, might be a hint. Might be a hint. Oh. Who knows? Jake, what about you? Good sir. Uh, Birds of Prey. That is correct. I'll Great. give you it. It's it's a lot more to that title, but I'll give you Birds of Prey because that was the original title they had, and then they ended up getting an alternate title. So I'll give you that point. Wasaki, it's on to you. I Tanya. I Tanya, there you go. She got Great nominated movie. for an Oscar. I haven't seen it, but I saw I heard that she got nominated it's for It's fantastic and you should watch it. Okay. Check it out. Emma, it's back to you. I'm gonna go with the other Suicide Squad movie. There you go. I like there it. Go. Gave it to you on a zipper platter. <laughs> Get it. Yep. Uh Joao. Sex you. The uh the Wolf of Wall Street. Oh. That's correct. Good deep, good deep cut. There you go. I had that one in my head. I was like, what? Which what movie is that? It can't be worth Wall Street sorry. in it was. Yeah. Nice. Jake, it's on to you. That was all I had. Really? I really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. I'm sad. Uh you wanna throw out a guess? Maybe she was in it? Yeah, Asteroid City. That is correct. What? Point what? Jake. Oh That's what? crazy. She's in Asteroid City. That's oh, literally yeah. that's the other 2023 film she's been in. Asteroid City. Very good. Hail Mary there. <laughs> that was a Hail Mary, Mary, Mary dude. Was like, like that was a good Hail Mary. Jake's good at those. Jake's good at Hail Marys. Nice. Wasaki, it's on to you. Once upon a time in Hollywood. Correct. Oh, yeah. Everyone is now on a hot streak. No one has lost a life. Emma, this next one is worth two if you get it right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, that's great. What else has come out this year? I know. I can't see. Um, I think I heard the word Mario. <laughs> I'm fully, I thought of any other movies. I'm fully going to take that. Say that. You're going to take that? Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> one life loss for Emma. No worries. You still got two more. You still got two. Okay. Joao, next one correct and it's double points. What are your, what's your thought? My beloved Babylon. Babylon. There you go. Ba -ba -na -ba -na. Ba -ba -ba. Very good guess. I love that score. Nice yeah, for it's a great I score. Should have won and I don't understand how it did not win the, the Oscar. Yes, this Rob, is Rob. This is me. Rob to all hell. Uh, Jake, it's on to you. Next one correct is double points. Uh, um, Raya the Lost Dragon. Raya the Lost Dragon is in... It's also a good Two movie. more lives. Two more lives for you, Jake. Two more lives. Wasaki, next one correct, and you got double points. Mary, Queen of Scots. Uh, Mary, Queen of... I haven't heard of that. What year is that? Do you know? Uh, not off the top of my head. It's an older Mary, one. Yes. Uh, 2018. <laughs> Pretty old. Oh! Uh, two, points. Very <laughs> <Wasaki>. <laughs> two points. Two points. 
Yeah, there you go. Very good stuff. Emma, back on to you. Yep. Mm -hmm. We're going to go with the Margot Robbie movie. <laughs> <laughs> Incorrect, unfortunately. Uh, Joelle. Uh, bombshell. Correct. Two points to Joao. Very good stuff. Very good stuff. Jake, not to you, sir. Two lives remaining. Don't look up. <laughs> oh God, that's a good L Mary because everyone is in it. Uh, Margot Robbie was not. Not in Don't Look Up. One life remaining, Jake. One life. Wasaki. It's and looking good. Up. She went straight in. Two points. I know Marco. There you go. <laughs> Amsterdam. I enjoyed it. I don't know why I got so much hate, but I enjoyed it. It wasn't... Funny enough, the directing was the worst part. Everything else I actually enjoyed. <laughs> Emma, it's on to you. What life remains? Um, I've been trying to think of movies that have a lot of actors in it, and I think The French Dispatch had a lot of actors, so I'm just going to say that. Even though it's probably... <laughs> yep. Incorrect. Emma has been eliminated. Two points to Emma. Two points to Emma. Uh, Joelle, it's on to you. I just know the one with Will Smith. I don't know the title. I'm just no. I'm gonna have to pass. I'm gonna skip him. All right. He's using his life to skip. I'm, I'm entering the murky waters now. I don't. Okay. All right. Jake, one life remaining. It's up to you. Ah. Uh. Harley Quinn. Uh, she really needs her own movie. I mean, Birds of Prey is her own movie, but that is yeah. in incorrect. That's all I can say. Jake has officially been eliminated. It's us again. But, but he placed third. Jake, that is two plus four, six points to you, good sir. You passed 100 lives? points. Very How many stuff. lives do I have next? Do I, do I have any lives still? You have two lives remaining. Uh, it does go to Wasaki, who has all three lives. My butt hurts. Oh, I didn't mean to say that. I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, I'm uh, on the on you. Um, Peter Rabbit. Peter Rabbit. Correct. Deep cut. There you go. What are you? Oh. I ca I know Margot Robbie. He's a Margot head. I can't beat her. She like knows like every Margot. <laughs> nice. All right, Joelle. Uh, two lives remaining. You are at six points so far. Oh my god. Oh shit. And, and the rules is I can't do any upcoming stuff, right? It has to be things that have already been released. It has to be stuff that's already released. Yeah, so Barbie would be the latest thing I could take. Um, I, Mad Max Fury Road. I don't think she's in it, but let's just go. She's Australian, so Mad I'm Max like, I'm just Fury Road. That's Cara Delevingne. Mm. Right? One yeah. point. Uh, yeah, one life remaining for Joao. Wasaki. You have another one? Goodbye, Christopher Robin. 2017. I'll tell you. You are so crazy. Oh, oh, my. You're on it. Oh, Honestly, yeah. Wasaki, you might. Uh, it's, oh, it's looking yeah. tough. But you, you could pass. You could pass Ryan's record. I don't know. It's at He's at 185. Before this round, you're at 105. Maybe. Oh, no, I don't. I don't so. We'll see. We'll see so. what, what shapes up. Yeah. yeah. Joel. He's a true WWE champion. I'm just gonna say I don't know anymore. Marco Robbie films. She's gonna hit me with the people's elbow right now. The rock bottom, the Stone Cold Center. It's yeah, I'm out. I'm good. So glad because right. I wasn't sure of these last three. Uh, six <laughs> points to you, Joao. That is twelve points. You're walking out of there. Twelve points. Uh, okay. Very good stuff. Masaki, you are in the lead, so I will cut you off. If you can give me one more, I'll give you ten. If oh. not, I'll give you eight. Um, Dreamland. Uh, do you know what year? 2014? <laughs> Dream Land. <gasps> what? In Isn't that with, Earth. um, what's his face? Ryan Gosling or the other white guy? <laughs> Chris I'm going to look that up. I think oh, I'm so sorry. That is correct. My apologies. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, don't steal her point. Wow. Oh my God. My fault. You got it. You got it. One point plus ten. Very good stuff, Wasaki. I'll give I was you the respect. Look it up there. after and be like, Yeah, I know. Literally, you were gonna give me yeah, my two I, points. I, 
Glad I nipped myself in the butt there. All right, very good stuff to you guys. Claps around. You guys absolutely killed it. We had a very high scoring game today. We have not had a high scoring game like this in a minute. So I appreciate you guys killed it. I think last episode, the highest we had was like 27. Like last the episode 50, I think Wasaki had like 28. That was like the highest points we had. So claps to you guys. You guys brought it today. Let me add uh, everyone's points really quick. In fourth place, very good stuff. Emma, 61 points. Very good stuff, Emma. Did you break your record? Let me check. You did. Yeah. Your record from your first episode was 48 today, 61. Very, what was your very good stuff. 58. You passed it. Okay, cool. So very good stuff, Emma. Very good stuff uh, to you today. Joao, 79 points today for your debut, good sir. That, I, I, can't, looking... I can't show my face as a Nolan because it was soft, he just like that was my round, and she like stopped me. Like, <laughs> I, had I, tried, dude, I, tried, like, I uh, I just I want to put the emphasis on on Joao for a second. Joao, with his debut performance today, breaks the record for the best debut on Quiz Club and for the lowest score. Someone's record lowest score, obviously, it's a sample size of one episode. 79 points is very good, Joao. Very good stuff. Claps around for Joao. Claps around for Joao. Very good stuff. In second place, Jake with 102 points. Very good stuff, Jake. 102, breaking his own record. Uh, couldn't couldn't get back the title, but man, records have been broken. Everyone claps around for Jake. Claps around for Jake. Woo! Very good stuff. And still, 126 the points. The undisputed, undefined, uh, universal, I guess I could say, quiz club champion wasaki if you want to if you want to hold the title up with the puppy in the other hand you can as well but okay, 126 man. points <laughs> that is uh to my records the third highest solo points in a uh, episode um ryan with having 105 or 185 michaela with 140 wasaki now has the third most points in a solo quiz club 126.5 very good slug successfully defend the title moving on yeah. to see what we have for the future i am very excited ah oh, what an episode today guys you guys absolutely uh, oh <laughs> my god <laughs> kidding, no, no cash ins today no cash ins today i'm only messing i'm only messing uh, <laughs> uh no ryan wayne is not here i thought that was funny that you uh <laughs> i thought that was funny ryan wayne is not present no one is present uh it's just you guys today very good stuff to you guys. Give you guys a, a round of applause. Let me, uh, I want to talk to you guys individually and see how you guys felt. Uh, let me start with Emma. Emma, you know, I brought you back. I'm glad you came back. I know we tried to bring you yep. one other time, but, you know, I maybe it just miscommun no. miscommunication on my part. I just uh, wasn't too no, on the day. No, it was fully so. on me. I'm just a great person <laughs> who can't read messages properly, apparently. Um, it's all good. Yeah. It's all good. But oh, how was today's episode for me? Was it was it fun? Was, Did you have a good time? It was so fun. It was really fun. Yeah. I was honestly like kind of I've heard of that one round where you're like talking about the synopsis of a movie and I was a little worried mm. about that. Like yeah. I was a little intimidated by that round, but I really thought it was fun. I like it. I enjoy it. I thought it was really fun. It's a good way to like earn points and nice. just like Oh yeah. Like, steal things from people. Take it. Yeah, you can rack up points that round, that's for sure. It was so, fun. I really stuff. liked it. I had a lot of fun. Yeah. Claps around for Emma. She she really brought it today. Uh, I hope I hope to see you more on Quiz Club. It's a lot of fun. I, I would love to see you on Wasaki Tag Team. I would love that. We might have to bring that. I got a couple I tag don't teams brewing in the. You're on. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, I got a couple tag teams that are uh, wanting to be teams for the tag the next tag team championship episode. Um, would you got a married couple who had the tag titles right now? Uh, Nicole and Alan. So. Um, I know Kai and Kaden have been talking about a tag team. If ladies, if you guys want to be a tag team, Wasaki, you could hold two belts. Could hold two belts. Should be fun. Double champ. So uh, yeah, I'll it's very Star fun Wars having you. <laughs> yeah, there you we'll go. Watch, we'll watch Star Wars. Um, nice. Uh, notorious, notorious mass murderer series black. Jake, how was today's episode for you, man? I always love having you here. You're a well of a time. Um, just the dynamic of our friendship has grown in the past year. Um, how was today's episode for you, good sir? I know that we couldn't get the title back, but how was it for you? I had a lot of fun. Uh, obviously, I was disappointed. I felt like I like, blew it there. But then I was really excited because I don't feel like I lost. I feel like I, I, I went to the Wasaki 1 in the end. 
Yeah. She just like mm-hmm. came in really strong, you know, uh, at the end. So um, I'll respect her. Yeah. I, I piggyback on that. I, I completely agree. Jake, 102, man. You broke a record today. If that's something to be proud of, that, that's it. 102 points. You passed 100. I remember there were days where Caden would hit 99 to be so frustrated. And now we're living in an era where, you know, you push yourself. You got it. So very good stuff to you, Jake. You're pushing up that average for sure. So very good stuff. Claps around for Jake. Claps around for Jake. Nice. Now I'm going to go to the debut. Mr. Debut himself. Wow. Wow. Dude, you killed it today, man. That might be, honestly, you're probably up for contention for our Quiz Club Awards, too. Uh, best debut. Um, 79 points, good sir. How, how did this episode feel for you? Are you uh, excited to come back in the future? Or are you like, this This, this is yeah. stupid? What are, you, what are your was, thoughts? Yeah. No, no, no. This was so much fun. All the competitors did incredible today. Like, uh, you did a great job hosting. Like, the flow of the show is just, like, Thank incredible, you. too. Like, the way you kind of, like, keep everything going. Like, you know, um, yeah, I had a great time. I had a blast. Nice. Good. I'm, I'm glad you had a good time. I'm glad uh, you had a fun time. Thank you, by the way. I appreciate that. I try my best with these hostings. Like, especially when I host an episode, I get exhausted. I have class tonight, so I'm like, my acting yeah. class tonight, I'm going to be swamped. So, but uh, you guys, you guys bring the fun to it. So I appreciate you, Joel. I hope to see you in the future episodes, man. I, I want to bring you back. I'm going to bring you back. It should be fun. So, well, happy nice. to be back. Claps around for Joel. Of course. Claps around for Joel. Yeah. And she is the woman to beat at this point, folks. She's defending the title. Wasaki, 126.5. Wasaki, how are you feeling? It's been a while since we've had someone defend the title and successfully and then move on. You you could currently today, I think you're sitting at 14 days as champ. Um, The next milestone to beat is um, the third longest reign as Quiz Club champ was 30 days. So we might get close to that. You might get close. We'll see how it goes. I know we do episodes of Quiz Club every other week. Um, but how was, how was today's episode for you? How, how was it? Were you stressed? What were your feelings? So stressed. Um, I actually want to thank Jake because he has such good strategies that um, I, I, I take in today. That <laughs> helped me a lot. Like Tom Cruise's stuff. I was like, let me make note of all these freaking things. Um, <laughs> Making note of all that happens like throughout the mm-hmm. um, quiz club, which really helps. I'd like to thank Margot Robbie and Barbie. <laughs> Barbie. <laughs> that really, that it was just playing to my strengths today. Um, and also the universe. I'd like to thank the universe. It was on my side today. <laughs> I love that. Today. It was on my side that. today. A lot of this was just taking chances. And making names. Um, I love that. Yes. I love, I love to see I'm it. Well, I'm so much right now. <laughs> I, I believe that. I believe that. I uh, I commend you, Wasaki. I appreciate you joining on, as always. Uh, you've been here since episode six. You and Jake have been here since very Yay! early days. So thank you guys for playing for so long. Um, I'm excited to see you defend the title against new names. I know Michael <laughs> wants to join on. Michael Ferens wants to play. Uh, I know Ryan Wayne is getting wanting to chop back at the bit. You know, he's always a tough time. And I know Michaela said that she wants to – she's picking her poison on when she wants to return. She She's uh, she's told me that she's not letting anyone know but me. So we're going to see how that goes. I know. Um, I'm very excited. Claps around again once more for Wasaki for defending the title. Uh, we're going to go ahead and say goodbye to the recording. We're going to go ahead and say goodbye to the people of Quiz Club 51 because we want to say goodbye to the people at home. Bye, Very people. Good episode, guys. Very good Thank episode. you. Have a good day.